actually thought you were a stalker. I'm not even joking. Probably. Funny as fuck, though. Ugh. Is my mic on? I forgot. Mm, why is your mic not one of your top things? Oh, wait, it is. You have two mics. Do I have two? Why do I have two mics? Is that two? Oh, no, that's mic box. What? About your video or sound. Are there two mics? Did you guys hear us twice? Or just once? Anyways. No? Okay, perfect. Dude, you took forever. I'm sorry. That was like 25 minutes. I, the guy okay. actually thought I was like, what is I said, bring him up. And so I thought you were coming up for the last like five to 10 minutes. I was waiting. I thought you were like lurking in my house. I was. I was waiting for you. The guy was literally just staring at me. I, I actually, for the first minute, he's like, yeah, grab coffee, grab coffee. I'm like, okay, thank you. I grab coffee. And grab the, coffee? I grab coffee, and the guy starts looking at me more, and he's like, are you like, are you going anywhere? I'm like, yeah, I'm still waiting for her. She's not answering her phone. I'm like, okay. And then, right. in the it's end, he, he just, the guy probably hates me now. He made it seem like you're like, why is he still here for like 20 minutes? But it's okay. I felt the same way. I'm like, why aren't you up here yet? Yeah, because you don't care. You weren't checking on me. It's okay. I, I got, thought you were taken care of. I got 300 steps on my Apple Watch. Is that cringe? Not even close. Wait, what the fuck? Not even close. Is that today? Yeah. How did you get 6,000? Dude, chat, what's up? Hi guys! Oh, let me turn down the music, hold on. Someone said nature is healing. <laughs> so is our friendship. Marginally. Oh my god, shut up. Chill, 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 chill. What do you mean marginally? First of all, I mean marginally. Why didn't you want to go to uh, Anime Expo with me? Um, I was doing something Saturday and then Sunday I just felt, I actually felt so sick. I was thinking like Sunday maybe we could grab coffee mm. Co how do you say it coffee coffee mm. I can't say it again Teach coffee c-o-w coffee -E -E. I was thinking we could grab some coffee right I, I keep doing it in a Brit in a British accent some coffee yeah why are you talking like that coffee it's coffee Calf cow 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 coffee yeah anyways i was thinking we could grab a coffee but i felt so dookie i was like i wonder if he'll even message me he'll probably forget and you didn't what the hell <laughs> no i wouldn't forget dude what the hell happy fourth of july guys mm -mm. what the july sucks what is that you do a heart mm, classic no fourth happy july fourth of july everyone fourth of july is one of my least favorite holidays I don't even know what it- I'm Canadian, so can you explain it to me? What? Okay, so it's basically- <laughs> Also, do you want to hear the jazz music? Would that make you feel more relaxed? No. Why do you have that on? Nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm not a fan of 4th of July, because- Why? I don't know, I just feel bad for a bunch of dogs. Like, they're just like, yapping and crying because there's just Actual fireworks going on. Oh, yeah, because fireworks scare dogs. Right? Yeah, it just blows everything up and then the dogs are like screaming. And I just feel bad for them. So I'm just like, all right, like, what I learned is like the dogs are just all miserable on this, this day. I'm like, I'm not enjoying this. But you know what's the best holiday that no one likes or no one talks about? Mm. Easter. Is that technically a Christian holiday? Yeah. Easter's fucking sick. Also, did you just steal all that info from Maya's tweet to try to make it look like you care about dogs? Sometimes she hanging out with really you. really good PR for you when you guys were together. So, okay, you know? again, now we're just going down this road. I feel like she just really helped humanize you a little bit. Yeah, I, I really fucking needed it. I really fucking did. And then since then, it's not that you're not human, it's just that you're a kid. Yeah, she was like helping a disabled animal for two years, and then she's like, you know what, I'm gonna open up a sanctuary doing this. Listen. I'm not even saying this to joke on you. I don't think your hairline's that, that bad. Thanks. I don't look at it and I'm like, that's fucked up. But maybe you should like prefer this side. Yeah, like try really? to try to only talk this way. <laughs> Chat, you. No, that's pretty good. If you're talking, oh. try to yeah, just try to talk. <laughs> Imagine the chat is over there. <laughs> Dude, chat. I think it looks good. Oh. The chat. Here, let me move. Chat, what do you think? <laughs> let me move for you. 
I'm really? kidding. It's really, it's not crazy. You know what's funny? You're the only one that talks about it. Well, we talked about it. I'm following up in person. It's, it's only gonna get better. For sure. You wanna why? Have you ever tried like, uh, is it called like Rogaine? That's it's why. Like well, I take, okay. so the thing is like, when you're at my age, right? A lot of men. 35? 35 plus, right? We start taking finasteride. Who? Finasteride, you ever hear of it? Is this gonna be a fit these nuts in your mouth joke? You, I would never do that. <laughs> when the fuck have I ever been like that? I, oh, I did not no. play Among Us with you. I wouldn't do that. You would. But finasteride's I like. Past you. I would never do that. I literally never would. Finasteride's like this thing where basically, like, it. You take a pill mm -hmm. and it slowly. Actually, I swear it's true. It slowly brings back your hair. Here, I'll show you a picture. So are you like a few months into finesse, finesse? That's me six months ago. Respectfully, you had way more hair in this than you do now. Yeah, okay, I did. But That's my hair- the thing, it was longer, so I can't compare these two Hello, photos. Blizzard? Look at my, look at my hair. Wait, why did you just call me Blizzard? I don't know, I just always say that. But look at this. You're telling me I look, look at that hair. Like actual trash. Your hair does look. Your forehead looks very round there. Yeah, Chad, look at this. <laughs> the face. This is such a good before and after because you could be happy in the after. Yeah. And sad in the before. Yeah, this is like peak before finesse dried. It's not better. It's not even close. <gasps> this was the worst. It gives pee pee dysfunction. Can you confirm or deny? No, because I already had that problem been, beforehand. Oh, that's true. So that's why I took it. I'm like, well, maybe if Nothing I take it. Nothing to lose. And look, if maybe it's like. If oh, a negative times a negative is a positive. Yes! Yo, you're kind of smart for that. I know, so I was like, yeah, I'll take this shit. Uh, I take one pill every three days, because they say, oh, take a pill every day. You don't have to do that. You take it once every three days, you'll be fine. What if your hair could be so much more grown out by now? I've been doing that. Yeah, but I mean, like, uh, no, that's not how it works, so. Plus, I do want to get a hair transplant. On stream. Okay, you're going to pull a Jidian? No, he got a bullshit one. I want to do like a real one. Like, I go, you go with me, obviously, right? And we go, and you, we get a, I get a hair transplant live on stream, and everyone just watches. And then I get banned because there's blood, and then I go on Rumble. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Listen, respect, are you going to do this stream on Rumble? Yeah, if it's bloody, I don't think you can. What, do it on Twitch? Yeah, you can do it on Twitch, right? Why not? It's educational. True. Do you think you could birth a baby on stream and call it educational? It Okay, here's the thing. You can birth a baby and it's on stream and it's educational. But, like, if I did it, they would permaban me. That's what I mean when I say you. Like, you is theoretical, like, just any person. Uh, well, listen, let's be real. We all know that Twitch bans are based on who you are and if they like you. Let's just cut to the chase while we're here. Twitch bans- Anyways, next topic. No, it's true. Twitch bans are inconsistent in dog Don't shit. you think- I mean, I'm not gonna disagree with you on that. Dude, I've gotten away with so much shit and they're like, yeah, it's cause you're a 30k <laughs> Andy. Or then I hit 20k <laughs> all of a sudden now I get it. No, don't do that. Um, did you see that random clip of a girl who's like, I've been asking for a partner for the last 17 million years. <laughs> No, because what what girl doesn't get partner immediately? What? Like that's one of the things that I've never understood. Banning people, I understand y'all are inconsistent as fuck. Someone different does it every time. Every different person has a different opinion. Whatever the fuck. Partnering people, like, don't you want to make money? What Twitch on partners? Wait, what are you saying? Yeah. Like you're saying Twitch should partner the girl? Yeah. I mean, I don't know her personally. I don't know her content personally. But I just don't understand why someone who has a good, like, a large enough community, good enough viewership, why wouldn't they get partnered? Uh... I, I don't recall the name, I'm so sorry. Was it? Uh, uh, no, I think it was a Hong Kong streamer, yeah. Well... Just a random clip I saw. Yeah, but here's the thing. You, being partnered doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't it? No. Don't you need partner to get subs? No. But you only need affiliate? Okay, so 
Basically now, with like the ad program and stuff, you literally, it does not make a difference. The only difference is if you want to get to that like super crazy tier where it's like the 70-30 split, mm -hmm. and then that's it. There's no more difference. Besides like you get more emotes. So there's no more difference between affiliate and partner, you mean? Not right. just streamer and Besides, partner. you can get into the partner lounge at TwitchCon, which is totally worth it. But you can just sneak in there anyway. Yeah, it's true. I am really out of the loop about like the details of Twitch shit. So I think it's because all I see is people argue on Twitter that it kinda just makes me not look at Why are you on Twitter? I, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I'm gonna eat it. Look at this, ready? I'm gonna show you something. Yeah. Don't look at that. I'm gonna show you something. I've reached my limit on Twitter for five minutes a day. I'm allowed to go on there. I put 10 on mine. Yes, you have I to. I also reached it, but I had to take it off because I had to tweet while we were streaming. But mine is also reached. Yeah, and now that you tweeted that you're tweeting, you're hanging out with me, you definitely want to put your limit at like one minute. That's it. Like, it's not worth it. I'm telling you. Like One sec, one sec. Yeah, it's not worth. <clears throat> you went and your tweet too. Wait, what? <laughs> Nothing, I'm kidding, no. It's, I, listen, Twitter has become such a shithole and they're always wrong. And that's the crazy part. Who's wrong? Twitter. Who's Twitter? The guy that you just like only talked to for five minutes. Like, it, they're always wrong oh, on their I was opinions. messaging Aria. Oh. But I do feel like there's an equal amount of people who are wrong and people who are right on Twitter. Nah, they're always wrong. I, Someone said pull a PewDiePie and delete your Twitter. I always think about Ariana Grande. She deleted Twitter. And I'm like, if she doesn't need to... Well, she's Ariana Grande. Yeah, but you're Pokemon. What does that mean? Let me... Okay, let me ask you a question. If you delete... First of all, you shouldn't delete Twitter. Here's what you do. Mm. You get someone, a professional, maybe like Wajito or someone. Where do you find a prof prof professional Twitter handler? I'd have one. You don't mind? I don't look at my tweets. Anyone I block is not even from me. It's from my person. I actually have someone who does that, but I still use it. Oh, so what do you want them to, then, then what do you want, you want them to be like? What am I gonna tell them to do? Am I gonna tell them how to tweet like me? Bish, nobody could tweet like me. Yeah, I don't know about that. It is a <laughs> You mean like one picture a month is what you do? At least two. Oh, never mind. Actually, sometimes I just post on Instagram and I just don't even, don't even look at Twitter. Yeah, I don't know how you, I, listen, I can't. Twitter was cool. I think Twitter Remember, was cool. Remember like way back in the day when for the gaming industry, Twitter was it. Yeah. It, it was like where you found your next girlfriend or boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It was where you stayed connected with friends. Now it's like- See, for well, me, that was live stream friends. If you have, <laughs> if you have 100K plus followers, you're gonna have an ass time. Someone's gonna be obsessed with you. Someone's gonna reply to every single tweet you Someone's gonna quote tweet it. It's a lot. And I'm not even saying like cancel culture about that's not what I mean. I'm talking about Twitter in particular. Listen, Twitter needs to go away. We all agree. Right, chat? Do you think it's gotten more <coughs> right wing? Twitter? Look at me. I'm talking about politics. <laughs> Did it get more right wing? I don't know. No. I hear that, but I'm gonna be honest. You know how there's like a Twitter for you page? Mine actually has a lot of cute shit. Have you ever seen people like getting shot and stuff on your Twitter for you page? People keep telling me that's a thing. I've yeah, never that's, seen it. That's all I get. Actually? Yeah. Show me. <laughs> and then they're like, you know, you're like watching it and you're just like, yeah, look, right, wait, I have to go on Twitter now. Yeah. My Twitter is people getting shot, uh, fights. I get a lot of fights and Dexterito articles. So when people say it's like right wing and all this, look, I've never. Dexterito, Dexterito. Oh my god, it's me. Wait, who's that? Miss updates. My updates. Let's see. Uh, LGBTQ. So really, you're just obsessed with yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a funny photo. Ew! What was that? Uh. This image of Joker. Oh, never mind. Let's see. We keep going. Is this a fight? No. There's fights. It's all I get. I get uh, fights. Dexterity what articles. What do you mean she went to work with them? That's all I get. But here's the thing. You like, see inappropriate shit. Me? Like what? Like porn? Hmm? No, I don't get that shit. Sure. Twitter is all about what you like, right? Because that's so you the like whole people algorithm. getting shot. Absolutely. As much as I hate watching it, I still watch it. I don't think I've ever, ever seen that in my life. 
Really? Oh, oh wait, you God. see, someone said new Instagram version of Twitter comes out Thursday. I have it already. Ow, fucking God wait, damn it. I don't think I'm supposed to. Am I supposed to? I'm not supposed to. Okay. I don't have anything, but I have heard of it. That's what I meant by have mm. heard of. It comes out Thursday? Yeah. Ooh. I can show you it later. Ooh. I can't. Oh Ooh. my God. Wait, is it going to be wait, cooler wait. than Twitter? What? Um. Hmm. Oh my God! You know what I should do when I get. Uh, I don't know enough about the differences. Wait, but did I you? I can tell you. Oh. What? Does anyone know it comes out Thursday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's public. Okay. Well, now it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's called Threads. Hmm. And. I thought you said threats. I'm like, that's just Twitter. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> nothing much changes. <laughs> True. Um. I think. The foundation is promising, you know, like the functionality, promising. The way it looks, promising. However, promising. what people really like about Twitter, is this fucking funny? You know? No, it's not. It used to be, it used to be. It used to be funny and used to be able to communicate with your fucking people. Okay, period. Yeah. Can this new Instagram app accomplish that? I don't know. I don't know. Listen. Remember the days when everybody was like, I can't believe Twitter's free. I can't believe Twitter's free. That was me too. And now I'm like, it's not free anymore and it sucks. Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. <laughs> I Keep think things free. Doesn't Instagram have a almost, I don't know about following, but isn't Instagram almost the same size as Twitter? Like, don't people really underestimate how big Instagram really is? I thought Instagram was way larger than Really? Okay, so in that point, then that's Does even that better. Know? I'm sure someone knows. Isn't it huge? It's bigger. Way bigger. So then, yeah, wouldn't it be much better for threads or whatever to be on Instagram? Because then you can have everybody now, like, all over there and, like, doing it. For me, what's going to make or break the platform is, like, it, are they going to do something like a For You page? Is it only going to be people that you follow? Is there going to be any sort of moderation around who can reply? Things like that. That's what I... Oh, wow. Look at this. Instagram attracted... 889 million monthly active users on Android alone compared with 200 million for Twitter. So it's about four times as big. Damn. See, okay, the, uh, wait, how many does Twitch get? I think like 35,000. You're trolling me. How many people to go on Twitch a month? I don't even know if they release numbers like that, man. Like 2K. <laughs> Barely anything uh -huh. is what they say. Seven. At least three. I just feel like they don't. They... No, they do. Wait, didn't. you know what you could do? You could look at Sully Gnome daily numbers and just multiply that by like 30. Oh, true. You could do that. There's got to be a way to find out how many. Chat. Twitch currently has 140 monthly million. 140. 140 million monthly users. Does that count our bots? I don't. I feel like they're not here today. I was thinking today, I was like, is it just gonna be my bots or is it gonna be both of ours together if we're together? That would have been sick. No, right? they, they stopped a couple Wouldn't days. You know why they oh, stopped? Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah. fucking Hassan used all of our, our bot data. What do you mean? He streamed for like nine hours straight because he's like, I'm gonna keep going if I'm gonna be at 45k viewers. And he kept doing it to the point where he just ruined our bots. I was like, dude, chill, chill. I messaged him like, yeah, share, like, you know, calm down a little. Up. I got a sponsor on Thursday, but he just used the bots. I already got my sponsors out of the way, bless him. No, that's sick. But yeah, he basically, the bots went away. But it still blows my mind why we got bought in the first place. I don't get yeah, it. I don't, I don't get it either. People are like, oh, it's kick or oh, it's whatever. But it's just like, why would you, why would you bought us in the first place? And why would you only bought us for a week? That's I mean, what the, I the number thing I don't get. you get bought it for like a day. Yeah, and you, but these guys bought us for, like, okay, it's one thing if they bought it us for, like, eight months. It's like, all right, fuck. It was a week. I, I just don't understand, like, what Am does I that show? Am I the only one who, like, didn't, I just didn't care that much? No, I, I, I didn't give a shit. You think I gave a shit? I was going to play Ocarina of Time. I, no one gave a fuck. That's the whole thing, too, is everyone's like, I we don't care. I love Final Fantasy 16. Like, are you playing it, like, off stream? Yeah. You saw my PS5 by the TV? No, I just walked by it. I saw Mimi. It... Actually, like, I don't know. I haven't been excited about a game like that in a while. Dude, the S fan said the same damn thing. And see, that... It's so nice. The fact that I, I don't know... I also think, like, frankly, I mean, you know, with me streaming less, mm. I feel like I had a phase where I was like, 
fuck video games. I'm fucking IRL Chad now. Not mm. actually, but I was just kind of over it, especially playing fucking Valorant for two years. Like, but I finally found something that's just fun, and it's just for me. And it's it's not about streaming it. It's not about anything. It's just like wow. Remember? Mm. Remember you like video games. That's why you started streaming. That is not that why I started me. streaming. But at some point, you kind of forget. You you started streaming because of video games. Yeah, it's because I was really lonely and nobody in my city really played video games. Or like, you know, I didn't know that many people and I was like, I want people to play League of Legends. Why do you think I started streaming? Um, CX? Yeah, okay, close. I craved attention and I just wanted attention. That's that all I wanted. I didn't care about the fucking video I games. I hope someday I see you stream less because then I'll know you don't crave attention that much and you must be getting it in a healthy manner. What the fuck does that mean? Or like, What the fuck? means it means exactly what i just said what's what is unhealthy about twitch huh like <laughs> getting attention from twitch chat i don't know look it's i, I don't know no what do you mean? i i don't stream as much as i used to dude i used to stream six days a week what do you stream <laughs> three okay but is it trauma what do you mean is why i don't stream i have no i have no content <laughs> trauma i got nothing to do <gasps> come to la i'll pop on your stream one day of the week you pop on mine one day of the week so that's actually why I came here is to understand this whole agreement that you're trying to make with me where it's like you said that I'm trying to make with you, bro. Right. So you said that if we if I move here Classic that you would actually <laughs> You well no, I got this. You said if I move here that we would uh, actually hang out. Yeah. Listen, I'm not gonna be your <clears throat> your BFFL, but I'm gonna hang out. No, then it's not worth. Dude, I hang out on stream with you more than people that actually live near me okay so you think if you're here i'm not gonna hang out with you true yeah i was talking to who was i talking to last night tina and she i was Cute. like huh Cute. yeah well she was just like yeah like la people aren't as fake as everyone thinks and i'm like you are such a fake person tina i don't like you it's like begins whole thing but I was like, you can't even joke around about that, bro. Yeah, you can't with Tina. But I was like, yeah, like I, act, she's like, yeah, like LA's actually great. But she told me one thing that sucks about LA that no one really knows about is, uh, is it true that when you guys take showers, you have to like not use the water as much because you get in trouble? Maybe when we were in a drought, we're not in a drought right now. Oh, yeah. She's like, that's the worst part is like the water supply crap. You have to like worry about it. Oh, I think she's living in three years ago. Oh. Also, respectfully, whether LA feels fake or not is entirely dependent on who you hang out with. I don't if care if it sounds friends, fake though. When she told me it's fake, I was like, thank you, because that I fit in. What do I want? I don't, I don't want real people. I'm trying to become a streamer. Give me the most fake people. Are you calling me fake? Is that what And just put me right next to them and get room. <laughs> I'm not calling you fake. Twitter is. <laughs> like, I don't have to do it. I don't... Twinsies! Listen, I don't think you're fake. <laughs> I think you're a great person. <laughs> you can send the Venmo later. Yeah, I mean, well... you Listen, everyone has a little fakeness to them, right? Like, I'm completely fake. I'm so fake but I'm fake off stream. But if you're so fake, it makes you real. Yeah, I'm so fake though I'm fake off stream, and it, it's personified really badly to the point where I'm just a fake bitch now. But I've always been a fake bitch. Everyone knows that. You like to call yourself a bitch? Yeah, I'm a bitch. I kind of want to call myself a bitch. I think but one thing I you worry... need to do, Pokey, is you need to let down a few walls. Ew. All right, that's sounded weird apparently. <laughs> Listen, I wanna. Here's the thing. I wanna call myself a bitch, mm -hmm. but. You know, being in the, in the industry that we're in, I feel like it will enable people to, like, legitimately call me a bitch. You know what I mean? Doesn't everything you say make people enable to say something about you? It's time to not care. It's time to be that Pokimane you, I mean, I don't... with no cam playing Valorant. The one that didn't give a shit. You can call yourself a bitch. Go ahead. <laughs> you can do it. Watch. Ready? I'll okay, do it. I have... Pokey's a bitch. Your turn. It's different when you say it about someone else versus when you say it about me, you bitch. Okay, well, just say it. Like, let them know. Be like, yeah, I'm a bitch. Well, I don't think I'm a bitch in the way some people define bitch. I think I'm a bitch in the way I define a bitch. As in someone who's like, I'm not going to put up with some shit. I'll put up with some shit, but there's some shit I won't put up with. 
just go ahead and say it. We're bitches. Yes, but... But what? Chat. Watch, ready? I got this. Chat, I'm a really pathetic piece of shit. See? And then the thing is, if you have haters, right, they're just going to say true. And it's over. They won. I, I gave them what they wanted. I'm really pathetic. And then they're like, okay, yeah. And then but even over. the way you say it, I know you don't believe that. You don't think I'm pathetic? Well... <laughs> come, come on, I know I'm pathetic. That's why I say it. I'm like, yeah, like I'm, I'm embarrassed. I don't this think you think that you're pathetic in the way that other people might think you're pathetic. By the way, is this like physical abuse? Yes, but I don't give a shit. You talk too much. You think too much. I do. I can't help it though. Why? It's because I've seen the ways that other people think and now I know how other people will think and now I have to think before they think because I'll think what they think before they think it. Are you going insane? Yeah. I could. I actually am hanging out with you right now and I'm like, is she okay? I'm fine, I promise. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want another version of me? No, I just want... I, I, I'm listening to you talk and I'm like... What are you? Are oh, you... don't be concerned. I promise you, I'm fine. I didn't sleep very well last night, though. Oh. I really am fine. Wait, do you have sleeping problems? Um, not usually. Hmm. You want to listen to... here? Where's my phone? Listen, this is what I listen to when I go to bed. Like I have to blast this in my ear. Blast? But, okay. To be fair, I had to blast this in my ear last night. Did you hear about the the? I, I was at a Marriott. I call Austin show. I'm like, yo, where do I stay in Austin, in uh, LA? It's like. You gotta stay at this like bougie Marriott place, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, I'll stay there. So I stay at this Marriott and uh, I get outside. I think there's a band playing and it's just a bunch of people rioting because their pay wasn't high enough. It was it was all over the news. It was so fucking annoying, but uh, what is it? Hold on. Someone said classic LA, but this is happening everywhere. You're a Diamond Marriott member? No, Austin is. He just lets me use his points. Oh, sick. You ready? That's just like white noise, right? Or brown noise? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's kind of nice. No, it's not bad. Because here's what happens. When I'm at, like, if I'm about to fall asleep, what happens when we all try to fall asleep? Right? You're lying there. You're watching like soda popping, and you're about to like close your eyes and finally try to go to sleep, but then like nine different things come up and you're just like, ah, crap. And you start thinking about a billion different crap things, right? What this does is it just makes you start thinking about this stupid fucking noise, and you just stop thinking, and you just it, like literally just makes you just not think anymore. You're like, I can't think about anything but this stupid fucking noise, and you just fall asleep. <laughs> That's actually funny. It's awesome. That's not where I thought you would take that. No, yeah, it's what but I did. I'm glad you took it there. No, see, and dude, people in chat all said the same thing. It's like, it, it did genuinely- Did you used to listen to World War sounds? I got you, I'll show you what I listen to. I don't think I want to know. No, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. Mm, I'm so sure. World War II sounds 10 hours. I also used to listen to the Pokemon song. Not the Pokemon song, the first season. This sounds like 4th of July night. Yeah, but I don't have a dog. But this is, isn't this sick? Like, it's so cozy thinking that you're like in a war. And, okay, don't call me on that. Don't put it on threads. It's so, like. Can you reel that back? Oh yeah, Instagram reel back. Yeah, okay, I'm, it's not cozy to be in a war. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's cozy to be like, I don't know, like you're hiding. Why don't you do like um, a thunderstorm instead of a war? Couldn't that maybe be cozier? Why does that have to be a war? You, you're the one listening. Do you tell me? I, I mean, I don't know. It's just. I, Can you clarify that you don't mean it's actually cozy to be in a war? You just mean being transported to another world, maybe 
Chat, I honestly. Why am I trying to be your PR team? It's over. <laughs> like that, my, my PR team quit six months ago. What, chat, I it thought is, it was longer than that. It is cozy to be in a war. Of War Warcraft. No, it's not cozy. I don't know. Like, you don't have to, like. Why do you have to clarify that stuff, Pokey? You think the chat cares? You think really someone's gonna click that? I don't that? think chat really cares about much, but them articles be caring about every little thing. Yeah, you want to blew up this year that really kind of like changed that landscape? Dexterdo. Hell no. Dude, them- I don't think they blew up. I think Twitter. Twitter's algorithm changed, so people like to see news within tweets. Right, and that because blew up Because it goes on people's For You page. I think it blew up their Twitter, probably not their actual website. Yeah, yeah, but dude, their, their yeah, Twitter used to be- Yeah, tweets a blew up. People just saying news. Up. Like, it doesn't even matter what account it is. Why don't we make a news team? I think I'd rather puke in my mouth, swallow it, digest it for a little bit, puke it back up, spit it in your mouth. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I saw, um, what's his name? Asanon. Asasas. Hassan's fucking bitch. I'm not gonna call him his bitch, it's his editor. Austin Ox. Yeah, he does a... I like his kind of meme -y, nicer news Twitter. Why don't we just, like, here's what we do. We make a Twitter... Austin Sox. We make, here's what we do. We make news on Twitter, but it's, like, completely... I thought we just talked about quitting Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. We make this... a little backwards. We make this on Reels. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I mean, let's... let's we're getting off Twitter. Let's get off Twitch. What happened to your eye? Oh, we're here? Yeah. It's disgusting. Can I see? What is that? It was really gross. Jack can tell you. It was actually disgusting. It was basically, here's what happened. I don't want to say it's so gross. Mm -hmm. You want to go back to the puking thing? You're going to, it's gross. No, I want to know. It's not herpes. It's not roids. Don't tell me you came here with herpes. <laughs> well, I... actually, doesn't everybody kind of have herpes? Depends what kind. I feel like that's a myth. Roid herpes? No, it's not roid herpes. Basically, what happened is I wore these glasses because I have really bad eyes. Do you have bad eyes? No. Fuck you. Yeah. I know. <laughs> My eyes are... Well, I have really blue eyes, right? Mm -hmm. so if I stare at the lights for a while, I start squinting because it's, like, too reflective, right? Mm -hmm. So I got these glasses to, like, basically protect that, and I left them in the, the middle of my couch for six months, and I never cleaned them. So I put them on my head, and then this scar, I guess, got like the bacteria, and it just, and then it went giant pimples. It was gross. For like two weeks, it was disgusting. It was really bad. <laughs> but it's all, it's all good now, dog. You're like a little kid. It was really bad. <laughs> it was, like you just it ended a bad cold. It was really bad. No, chat. It was, <laughs> it was actually gross. Like if, if you were there for like those three days when I was streaming, and it was really bad, I, I. I couldn't. It was disgusting. But it's it's good now. I, I found some remedy on Reddit. I typed in pimple in scar Reddit and I got uh, get fixed. What it. was it? Uh, you get this like uh, this tea tree oil and you put it on your. Oh, that's great. Very antibacterial. Do you think you're smart? No. I mean, I'm not. Dumb. I think I'm smart in some ways, but I don't think I'm smart in the way that I think I'm smarter than others. I think there's some things you're smart about, something I'm smart about. What am I smart about? Um, can you give me like two minutes to really think about <laughs> Well, if you're smart enough, I'm not you smart know enough to answer smart. that right away. I'm kidding. Mm, you're smart about a lot of things in regards to entertainment, yeah. Cool. And creating a community that oh, yeah. connects with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. And being yourself. You got some street smarts. You know, or... you always tell me, like, bro, just don't give a fuck. Call yourself a bitch. I'm a bitch. You're a bitch. We're all bitches, whatever. Um,. I think you're smart about how you handle relations with others in this industry. Well, probably a few other things. Wait, so what do you think you're smart about? Um, I think, I think I have pretty good business sense. Why couldn't I have that? And I'm smart with things like numbers and math and really boring shit that you learn in school. I'm fucking good with math. But I'm not as smart with people oftentimes. Wait, why? Um, 
You know how everybody's like, I'm a really good judge of character. Like, you know, when I have a good sense about someone, I, would, I have no fucking sense about anyone. I, ca I can't, no. I kind of just give everybody a chance, and if they fuck up and they're nice enough, I'll just give them another one. And if they fuck up again and they're nice enough, I'll just give them another one. Mm. No, I do the same thing. But it, it also depends on the person. I don't know. I think a lot of people do the same thing. It's very hard to... Ugh. That's why Mrs. is here. <laughs> <laughs> true. It's very hard to throw somebody true. away like that. It is. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, that's true. But also, like, that's not why I'm here, okay? Also, I'm good with math and numbers. I was really a finance major. Were you? Yeah. How did you end up here? I took a lot of Adderall. Mm. Yeah. No, I took a lot of Adderall and I cheated through my way through college. You know, I've only cheated once in life. It was in the second grade. How do you remember that? It was in the second grade, and you know you had those cute little desks? Yeah. And there was a, a little yeah. drawer beneath. Mm -hmm. anyway, so I'm doing the test and I had like a little paper underneath. And I don't even know or think I needed that much. Anyways, I felt so bad after. Oh my god! See, I that's where I, that's where I can tell you're a good person. Like, I don't. I literally did that. I told you know. the teacher on myself. She laughed. She fucking laughed. And Kai calls me a rat. Are you kidding me? You, you rat on yourself. Like, <laughs> I literally yeah. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> she was like. <laughs> Kitty. She didn't even punish me because she thought it was so funny. How do you? How do you remember that? Because you know that was one of those moments where I, was, where I realized like I'm not built to cheat. Like I'm never gonna do it ever again. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel like shit, and I'm just gonna tell myself. Mm, yeah. See, I think. Whoa. I I think Mimi does not like men very much. You're doing great. I'm surprised. Whoa. Really? To be fair, she's also grown. Yeah, she's grown. Mimi. Aww. Oh my god. Wow. They're actually getting along so well. Mimi. Please do not turn off my second PC, Mimi. You can turn off the first one, not that one. But yeah, I used to, uh... You know I cheat on my SATs? How do you do that? No, it's fucking sick. Hey, wait, I'll show no, you. No, like, isn't that really hard to cheat on? Yeah, it was impossible. Wait, which one's your mouse? That one. This is a classic. You ready? Wait, how do you get to this monitor? Like, you want to show it on stream? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, cool. Ready? Okay, chat. I do not advise this. This only worked because I was really cool. But this is how you cheat, okay? So basically, this was your test. I don't know if it's still like this, right? So this, this was basically how the test was, where it was 10 subjects, and uh, <laughs> chat, yeah, they've heard this like 17 times. A scantron? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So you remember your the book and how they always told you like, don't go ahead. Don't go ahead? You don't remember that? Well, they were like, oh, don't, don't open the next slot, because if you do that, then like, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to basically stay on the one area and then they say, okay, next section, and then you go to the next section, right? Sure. So, so you're not supposed to open up the next sections. So what I found out is like my number one would be like my neighbors, like basically I would do this area right here and uh, it would be like my number six. Were so you it'd be lagging? All this in order to see everybody else's answers? No, oh. I actually did the exact opposite. I went like super far ahead. So like I opened up every single slot and I basically looked at his and I'm like, okay, I can see the first line is like that. The second line is that long. And the third line is this long. I'm like, hmm, what section has that as the number one answer, as number one question? And I'm like, oh, that's section four. And then I would just copy his entire section four. And I copied the entire thing, and I cheated. And I cheated so well, I got a better grade than him on the SATs. I copied everything. 
Someone said that's ACT, not SAT. No, it was the SAT. Unless I'm that dumb where I went to the ACT. Nope, I cheated. And um, I actually saw him in the bathroom. And I'm like, yo, I'll give you $500 if you don't move or if you move your right hand from the desk because I kind of couldn't see. And he's like, all right. So I gave him 500 bucks. And I cheated. Wow. I know. It was really cool. And I was shaking afterwards. I'm like, I can't believe I just cheated. I called my mom. Like, mom, I cheated on the SATs. And she's like, that's not true. You studied. And I didn't study. I was playing Modern Warfare sure 2. Sure no, you didn't study. Nope, I did not study. And uh, you know what happened? Mm -hmm. I got really bad. What happened? I got really bad grades for, like, my whole life. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know what I wanted to be when I was in high school? Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a plumber. I love that for you. I, I wish I you went. You should still be a plumber. I wish I went that fucking route. I wanted that was my first job. I really want. I'm like I want to be a plumber and on a plumbing like you company. Have plumber vibes. Like a Mario. I just feel like you'd be happy to like clean up shit. No 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 no. Show off your butt crack. Yeah, show my ass. Yeah, that'd be great. No, I want to be a plumber. This is the typical like Italian man in Jersey shit. <laughs> I want to be a plumber, and then after I didn't want to be a plumber, I want to be a cop. Okay. And I uh, I took the cop, like, SAT or whatever. It was the dumbest shit in the world. I got an 89. I didn't even, didn't even study. I was going to become a cop. Maybe that's a problem. That it's so easy to be a cop. Like, if Miss says something is easy. No, it was, it was, the it was easy. It was A, like, it, you just put basically for everyone, shoot, was the answer. And I got, like, an 86 or something like that. Nice. Yeah, I didn't do that. I look like a cop, so I got extra points. That's what's up. You do, kinda. Oh yeah, you I have totally like a look like a cop. Neck. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I never heard that. You do. I never. I have a cop. Everything. I'm a white male with severe uh, insecurities. <laughs> male pattern baldness. <laughs> yeah, like what the hell? I literally scream a like, cop or rent a cop. <laughs> rent a cop. Yeah, I look like a fucking piece of shit. Um. You Wait, know what, did you what want else to be I could see you being like in another in a in another multiverse? What? A male stripper. Cause you like to entertain. Yeah. And I feel like you want to show your butt crack. And those two things go hand in hand, kind of. I am not, I am not good looking enough to be a male stripper. Mm. I would have to take a serious more amount of roids to even get close to it. More? What do you guys know that I don't know? What? Do you think I take steroids? I'm not about to call you buff right now. No. Just tell me if you do, or if you have. No, I don't. I, don't, I, I hear don't. a lot of guys do. Yeah. But then because don't it's you awesome. Think who cares? Okay, who gives a shit if your balls are small? Listen, for me personally, if I had a dick and balls. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't care if my balls were smaller. I would care that I'm doing something that is impacting my the my physiological sense of being so much that my balls are getting smaller. You know what I mean? I'm not like, oh no, my balls are a bit smaller. I'm like, oh no, how the fuck is this happening? Right, this is the topic I knew would come you know up today, I mean? obviously. Yeah, so here's the truth. But that's just me. I ain't got no dick or balls, so I can't say. More. If you knew that you can live a better life but you lose five years of your life, would you do That's it? That's different than having smaller balls because let's be real, some of the, I don't, that is such an insane byproduct that I would bet you, you're losing more than five years. Five years, everybody would say yes. What if I told you 40? What if you live until you're 40 instead of 80? Wow, this I, I have to get better stuff. Like what, th that's not what happens. Like there's people that are, I've been on, like, okay, The Rock. The Rock is on roids. The Rock should not be, like, your example of, if he can do it, I can do it. He's he, awesome. No, 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 let me explain why. Okay. He's rich as balls. Oh. <laughs> so he probably has a bazillion people taking care of him. That's very different from one person at home just doing something on their own. Yeah, a bodybuilder died a couple days ago at age 30. Did you see that? Yes, I but that. dude, Listen, you know I don't how many know anything about it. steroids he was taking Pokemon. What? So who's it? How much is too much and how much is not? Like, I don't know. 
he should have, dude. Anyway, he was should taking I take ob steroids? Yes, I'll get that. You're, it doesn't matter for your balls. Yes, it's he was taking Wait, that's obscene. That's showing enough balls to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, what if my the well, girls? You taking steroids is a whole different ball game that I'm not going to be talking about whatsoever. Bulk up, bitch. Let's go. But dude, it's it's like okay, that guy was taking an obscene amount of steroids. How do you he was know? Eating breakfast, lunch. He was a bodybuilder. Like, do you actually know that, or are you yes. just guessing? Yeah, was he taking steroids, like a shit ton? Of course he no, was. No, but how do you know he was taking a lot? Dude, okay, everyone in that industry, Pokey, all they do is eat, sleep, steroids. Yes, and it's awesome. Listen, even I can look at him and be like, you're probably taking steroids, but I wouldn't assume all the time. Yeah, oh my oh. god, it's crazy. I, I'm just, I really, I, I don't know. Yeah, no, they take, it's all they do is take, like, they'll have pop pills in the morning, take a shot or two at the day, it's, it's a lot. It's like a, it's like a, you have to put it into your routine. What? For men? In general, who take steroids? It's fantastic. You have more testosterone. Which means you're more, you're like the pride lion. I don't know, I don't know why I thought of that, but you're like more like, Joe's pretty transparent about it. Bodybuilders are taking like 10x what is reasonable dose for normal guys. That's crazy. See? Damn. And here's the truth. I'm not, I don't take steroids. But will I take steroids one day? Absolutely. When? I already talked to Hassan about it. We're both going to do it. I am when? So like, men... Like together? You know how women don't peak because they're queens? Yeah, but I've heard that it's a Pokemon. But okay, basically, men when they're like 35, they start hitting this like wall where they start getting old. That's when you start taking steroids, and you're like, and you like can you can be insane till like you're 60. Can you hold that? Thought for a sec. Let's answer this, and then we'll get back to it. Okay. So someone said you're concerned about steroids changing the body, but women take steroids all the time to manipulate their bodies. Birth control. Steroids are fine if they are done properly. The reality of the case is, birth control. There are so many downsides that people just don't talk about enough. Preach. So I, I feel like you know there's valid concerns with both. You can't say birth control is normal, so this is normal too. And also, people tend to take birth control on like. A much more documented, regulated, and lower dose, you know, but there's downsides anytime you're injecting your body with hormones. Or like, not downsides, but there, there are things to be worried about. Actually, there's probably always downsides. It's just whether the upsides are worth the downsides. And the thing is, nobody talks about that nuance. Anyways, you were saying? You and Hassan about to shoot it up together? Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be sick. Wait, so why and when? When I'm like 35. Why? Is does testosterone start going down? Oh. See, like, and mine's already at a level. You know why Mimi liked pet like me petting her? It's because my testosterone levels are so low, I'm practically a woman. Wow. Right. That was good. So basically, good. when you're 35, mm -hmm. your levels start dropping, and I need to take it. And it's gonna be awesome. And I'll be completely transparent about it. I'll be like, yeah, like I take it. And their chat's gonna be like, Good for you, man. Are you gonna like go bodybuilder way and just take however much? Or no, 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 gonna, no, 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 no. Just take like a little bit. Yeah, they take. So people who take steroids like that are like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, they have like a goal, you know. They're the kind of people that are like, you're shedding off decades of your life. Oh yes. Like they, I, they are. I would never do what they would do. That's just stupid. I, I, just, I mean, unless you're like, you got to become like obsessed with that like physique. I just don't care. I'm also, I'm also a very, I'm the kind of guy that I think men, when they get too fit, I mean, they look like crap. I, I wouldn't say crap, but you know, it's not everybody's It looks type. weird. It's like, it, there's a specific- I think it looks <clears throat> inhumane a little bit. Right. Have you ever seen, okay, this is one thing that showed up on my Twitter for you page that was a bit odd. It was a guy whose abs had abs. It was so freakish that I was like, oh my God, this guy must be on steroids. Turns out. It was AI. <laughs> but it looked believable because some of the, the physiques of these guys, it's really like your biceps have biceps and they're flexing too. Yeah, that was SpongeBob. That was an AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's something else. No, I will, uh, when I take steroids, it'll be the best time ever. 
But that is kind of true, though, isn't it? That, like, basically, fucking birth control is... Mm -hmm. It's kind of like it. You know what's crazy? Studies have shown that birth control can impact who you're attracted to. So if you meet someone, and you like them, and you're dating, and you've been on birth control the whole time, and then let's say at some point you start wanting to have a baby, so you go off birth control, all of a sudden there's a chance that you might not, not even be attracted to that same human being anymore. Ooh. So I'm saying that's actually not true. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> This is likely not something that's going to happen to everybody, but it is something that has been shown that happens. Um, but also, I mean, birth control is a hormone like anything else. There are manners that you can take it and doses and types that might might work for you. Someone said explains my breakup, LMAO. Yeah, that, that's a good excuse. One thing that is 100% true, though, is that your hormones inform your personality to a large extent. Mm -mm. We think like, oh, I'm like this, you know, I'm nice and I'm happy and I'm an optimistic person, or no, I'm more pessimistic, I'm more this, I'm more that. In reality, a lot of these traits that we attribute to ourselves, it's just our hormones. Mm -mm. And so when you start taking something like birth control and you are changing a certain hormone to be at this level all of the time, people tend to change and think that that's just them changing but really, it's the medicine that you're taking. Right. And I actually have seen this happen a lot with girls who start taking birth control around the age of like 16 into their 20s. And they're like, oh, you know, like I just grew up and like I got sadder or something. But sometimes it's like, no, you're just on the wrong birth control for you. And that's why you feel sadder. Mm. So it's important to find the right type and to know that there are so many ways that it can impact you more than just your symptoms. It can ge it can genuinely like alter your mind. Chat, take your birth controls. Or don't. Take what works for you and document that shit, okay? So I want you to take the birth control and steroids and see what happens to them. That'd be cool. What if you get huge tits? In my- and your balls get shrunk. In my opinion, we should have birth control for men. They do, bro. Snip, snip. Also, they do. It's anime. <laughs> um, they don't, though. You know, they don't have a pill that guys can take. I'm not taking a pill. You, you wouldn't do that for your relationship? Hell no. The girl should be taking that shit. Come on. Why? Literally, why? Because oh, are you too much of a pussy ass bitch to take a pill every day? I gotta go to work. Oh, but you're ready to pump yourself full of testosterone because your hairline Hell is balding yeah. a little bit. Like, be be so for real right now. I'm I, I'm being real. If someone told me, Miss, start taking a pill that will change your hormones, would I take it to get laid? Nope. So why would you want your partner to? I don't give a fuck. I want I I want to go the e rob route. I'm trying to have a kid. <laughs> Yo, straight up pokey, you wanna know what you do? <laughs> Pull out gang. You just don't do it. Like that's You're just... an idiot. How You're an idiot? actually an idiot. Please Pull do not gang. take and any sex it, you education <laughs> from the Hey, Chai GMSAT. Oh, oh, do the ninja shoes stay on while you're pull-out gang? <laughs> Bro, it, that's <laughs> bullshit. How do you know about my ninja shoes? <laughs> I know I put those on. Listen, yeah, when Listen, pull out gang does work. <laughs> stop! <laughs> I'm stop. sorry, no, this is the truth. I, if, but I'm being real with you. If I was told, just because your swimmers are weak doesn't mean everyone. <laughs> mine can. Mine are like. <laughs> <laughs> they're dying. They're dead when they're even coming out of you. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a broken fountain whenever it happens. So like. <laughs> they're <drowning>. Ew! ew. <laughs> what? Someone said dead on arrival. <laughs> yeah, now they're gone. It's like, good luck. But no, I, I if if someone told me like oh, Miss. The girl doesn't want to take the pill, you would take the pill, I would never do it. And yet, every guy wants a girl who would. I don't expect the girl to be on the pill. Listen, if you wouldn't take a pill for your partner and you don't expect your partner to take a pill for you, that's fair. I just want to do anal. Stop talking to me like this! <laughs> My point is, most guys are like, I would never do that. But you should. And that, you know, that's a little, that's a little bit BS. No, you're right, it is BS, but I still wouldn't do it. I'd rather not get Listen. laid than ruin my entire... What if I... What if the person... Because right? there's studies that show that if you take 
um, I don't know if this is true or not. I heard it's from like a really bad source. If you take pills, <laughs> it can actually change how you feel about the person's like if you're dating them. And then like if you take it off the pill one time. <laughs> Listen, actually, a good one. <laughs> I uh, I don't know if I, I actually no. I would not take it. If you told me, Miss, take a pill, not happening. I'd rather, I'd legit rather just. Okay, off. while we're on this topic, I just want to say, like, my actual reasonable take is not birth control good or birth control bad. It's that it's really important to be aware of like who and how you are when you're off of a hormone and when you are on a hormone to understand exactly how it impacts you. Oftentimes, people go on birth control. They are told little to nothing by their doctor. They start experiencing certain symptoms that they wouldn't even think to attribute to the birth control. That's what I find problematic. Yeah, but who are you talking to? Isn't it our audience like 98% male? Like, <laughs> There's some girlies up in here. And the thing is, it's important for guys to know this. If Those you're in a heterosexual... Those second I started talking. There's a, it's a, <laughs> that's true. It's important for guys to like, know no this Valorant? information just as much as girls. What do you mean? That's such a dumb take. Uh, wh why do I have to worry about what women have to do? I already wrote them over. Because you're do. likely going to date a woman and you should care about her. Oh, why is it likely, huh? I don't know why. Because <laughs> I can't say for sure. <laughs> Yeah, like, why is it likely that Bless I'm... her soul. Yeah. I'm if not... she needs a support system, I'm here for her. No, 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 no. Listen, like, I just think she personally... She's gonna need it. I think personally that if you expect a male to take a pill, when I already have to go to work in the mines, I have to come home, and I... The to... mines?! You sit there and make monkey sounds for millions of dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I have to go, I have to get off my stream, browse out. You are so close to doing this instead of this. <laughs> like, be so for real. <laughs> yeah, I'm not- You I, know, I have a lot of fun with you. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know why? It's because I, I just let you basically- It's because you me. dish okay, it and you can take it. You dish I, it a little, but you can really take it. It's because you just talk every time I talk. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's like, well, chat, actually, the philosophy on this is, and you're just like, pills are bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No clapping. I just said pills not good or bad, however. Okay, I disagree like, with you. man, Dream. you're like, you know what? Maybe you're on Twitter too much because you're starting to sound like them. I don't, mm -hmm. I really don't. Mm -hmm, I really, mm -hmm. No nuance to anything, huh? Fit in more 40 characters, head ass, huh? What are you even saying? I don't even know what you just put in my word. You know when I go on Twitter and I see Dexterito, I check if there's a, 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 a thread about me and I go, whew, and then that's it. And I see Aiden Ross updates where it's like, Aiden picked a booger and ate it today. And then I'm like, all right, like that's it. I don't. I literally don't check Twitter as so much as I used to. I'm on threads, bro. You got it on Thursday. I'll show. I'll show you. It's sick. <laughs> can't wait. Can't you know. Wait. We, you know what we need to bring back. No. If you can ask me how we can get to the best internet, mm -hmm. remove Twitter. Remove mm -hmm. all these social medias. Let's go all back to. Let's go back to boards. What's boards? You, like like. Like 4 Yes, like, no, 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 no. Like random forms and boards. Oh, that was the most fun. Where you, like, made an account on websites. That was the best. Mm. Communities were built. It felt so right. I don't know, man. Well, I don't know, man. Yeah, forums had their place, but I actually had a lot of fun. You know what part of the internet I like the most? Mm. MMO days. Oh, yeah. When you would Preach. come home every fucking day, get online, hang out with the same motherfuckers in game, chat about whatever the hell, and sit there and be like, these people are way cooler than the people I know in person, right? And it wasn't weird, nothing sketch, just a bunch of people hanging, sometimes doing quests, and a lot of the time not doing quests. We're here for the friendship, bros. And it was, oh, and then the phase right after that, which was like anytime you met someone in person and you both liked the same game, that was like, wow, we're besties now. Right. You play League Legends? I play League Legends. Right, right. We're fucking besties now. Now someone tells me they play League Legends, I do this. Right, right, right. There's uh, like the wow days. Those, Best those were time good times. Life. Best time. There was one time <laughs> I played WoW with like a bunch of my friends. Yeah. And this girl was like play with us and we trolled her to thinking that like you can't log out and you have to save. Mm. And she went fucking nuts. And it was actually probably one of the most fun times of my entire life. You literally did that to me. What? <laughs> no, I said I was with my friends. But it was like honestly a lot of fun. Yeah, you did that to me with your friends. It's called bullying. Oh, okay. Cyber. 
Cyberbullying. Those 2019 Twitch. That bullying you got a lot of upvotes. People love that. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> now it just gets Toy of Threads, but... <laughs> no, listen. WoW back in the day. Well, you didn't play WoW. Um, I had a very short WoW phase, like two months. <clears throat> it was the best. Wait, what year would you say was the best Twitch? Like two th 2005, before it existed? Based. Just kidding. For me personally, COVID. Pandemic. <sighs> Those viewers were so fucking annoying. I love them. Why? I'm annoying. Uh, and they're my kind of annoying. The internet is all about finding the kind of annoying that you like and that likes you. They were some pussy Everyone's ass fucking viewers. annoying. I know. Yeah, and maybe that's pussy that I like, so. <laughs> all right, well, mods, ban me. <laughs> you know? I, those and were you... some pussy ass viewers. I'm glad we're back to like the, the good people, you know? You're absolutely Pandering, trolling, trollering. No, no, it's true. Listen, do you- You just okay. want to be different from me. <laughs> I would love to, honestly. But no, like, it's- I think Twitch now is, uh, terrible. It's dying. Let's talk about it, though. <laughs> Let's not. Listen, the-, the It's fine. We really don't got No, 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 I got this. No, it's fine. Twitch is a dying platform, right? It's down 40% in viewers. Stop. It, I'm gonna keep going. Stop. Viewers are leaving by, you know, the boatload because Aiden Ross left the platform. And it Sorry. really kind of destroyed the whole website. It, make, it just doesn't feel as, as W. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we'll ever get back to the COVID days? No. Maybe in 30 years? Ew. I know. Are you gonna be streaming then? Oh, uh, don't know. I got two more years left. I'm done. For real? Oh yeah. What do you mean by done though? You're gonna think you're done, you're not gonna be done. Yes. It's just basically me giving my, <laughs> yeah. I, I just basically telling myself in two years I'm done. Mm -hmm. So when that time comes and I'm like, ah, fuck. I, here's my problem is I always crave attention and that I don't know when that's gonna go away. I told you. I know, when you a find a healthier outlet. What is a healthier outlet? This is the a best outlet I have. Relationship. No, that doesn't not matter. Not based in content. And that's never gonna happen. Oh, well, there's your problem. Or, um, you know, surrounding yourself with relationships, friendships, family. You mm -hmm. know, those that are also not based in content. <laughs> Let's be, let's be for real, okay? Most of the problems that we have are problems we create for ourselves. Yeah, but we make a lot of money, so who cares? Well, shouldn't you still care about your problems? No, I'm a millionaire. Okay. Pokey, you can't have problems and be rich. Because you can just fix them with money. Development underscore N1 so GHT tip two dollars. <laughs> hey, can you say delayed evil is an upcoming Valorant huh? team? I'm waiting on you. Um, good point. Um, okay, can I be <laughs> honest with you about something? Um, Any takers? What? I never understood the you borrowed 200k stuff. I um, heard you were broke at some point. Okay, here's what happened. So, I had an accounting firm. And they were very much a boutique county, a county, county. Me too. Those are the worst. I had an accounting firm that worked with me when I had maybe like 50 grand a year. 100 grand a year. That's sweet. That's yeah, they're like a cute mom and pop shop mm -hmm. above a fucking pastry store. Mm -hmm. So I was like, here you go. Here's my taxes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, they did my taxes. And um, I, they were my accounting firm. But they only worked for people like under like half a million to a million dollars. And then I started making more money. Mm -hmm. And they shouldn't have been doing my taxes, but they were doing them anyway. And what why happened was... Why shouldn't they have been? Uh, because it was... It's not their, like, area of expertise. Mm -hmm. Like, they're more like, oh, you're a... You make a hundred grand a year type thing. When yeah. I was making, like... Way more. Yeah. Way more. Like, millions. So they were like... We can't... How many millions? Like, ten? Damn. A lot. Dude, I did a lot of sponsors in COVID. Wow, bro. You ever play Chimera Land? No. It's the best game ever. 
Someone actually came up to one of, uh, I was at a party two days ago and someone came up to me and was like, yeah, I, I saw your Chimera Land stream and it was the biggest joke I've ever saw in my life. And I'm like, what joke? I, I thought it was the funniest thing I ever had in my, happened in my career. I got paid to play this game called Chimera Land. What does that even mean? Okay, think of Ark. Now put Ark on the lowest graphics possible and put a blindfold on. That's Chimera Land. Shh. <laughs> You already took their money, bro, like... Right. You know? <clears throat> Anyways. So, um... Yeah, that was a whole nother... I forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, that that was Chimera Land. It was actually crazy. Um, but basically, so what happened was with the money was... The people that were doing and, and managing my money... They... By accident put... They're supposed to pay my taxes seven hundred thousand dollars, right? They're supposed to pay your taxes, which were seven hundred thousand dollars. Yes. When you made ten million? No, I didn't actually make ten million, but it was it was seven hundred thousand dollars for the quarter. When it was supposed to be oh, four hundred thousand dollars, so they told me it's gonna be four hundred grand, and then I got the bill and it was seven hundred. I'm like, I legitimately don't have this three hundred thousand dollars in your bank account. No. How are you making millions, but you didn't have 700k in your bank account? I throw all my money in the S&P 500. Yeah, let's just fucking smack my head on good investments. What is wrong with you? I literally, I'm a man. Listen, uh, it's I, not bad to put your money in the S&P 500, okay? But the whole point about investing is to do it in a smart way. It was smart. I literally don't want to look at my money. I'm not done talking. I know it's really hard for you. <laughs> Listen, you just don't put all of your money in there, lest you end up in a situation where you need liquidity. No, I don't put all my money in there. I put some mm. in Bitcoin. Anyways. Go on. So I was supposed to only pay $400,000, but it became 700,000. Mm -hmm. I called them like, what's going on? They're like, yeah, we by accident sent a check for your federal something instead of the this, so you're up 300 grand. We have to pay it. Basically, I fired them. I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. Got it. But I needed 300 grand, and I was gonna get 100 grand from <laughs> Kai Day and 200 Why? grand from Emmy. What? Why? Because she doesn't need the money. So you just randomly asked Kai Day for a hundred thousand dollar loan? Yeah. Why didn't you ask me? Leave her alone. <laughs> Stop bothering her. Yeah, it was a it was a really bad dexterity article with that one. Um, wait, you would give me a hundred grand for the content? I would. Damn. You know, because then I have one up on you. You know. No. Like yeah. you owe me one. I know. Yeah. Now everyone memes that I owe Emmy three hundred grand, and I actually do. You haven't paid her back. No, it's you stream on Rumble. Yes, but I don't do that for money. I do that because I want to grow. Just wire a community. her the checks, bro. <laughs> a community based in. Based in what? It's just based. <laughs> <laughs> That's looking good. <laughs> but um, no, I'm gonna pay her back. I I just. <laughs> just fucking based. It's uh, I, I'm gonna pay her back. Just takes time, but no, mm -hmm. I, 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 I would not love. that much time. You make money. Yeah, but you could pay that back in a week. Oh, I cannot. That'd be awesome. You think I make that much in a week? Sometimes I'm sure you do. I don't get sponsors anymore. You said ten million. I was a troll. I was joking. How much do you have in the S and P five hundred right now? Uh, don't tell me you have a Rumble equity. Please don't tell me you have Rumble. Equity. Please don't tell me you have Rumble equity. Okay, I won't tell you. No. What do you mean, no? no? It's Monopoly money, brother! How's it Monopoly, Donnie? It's like all the people No, who... no, no, but just... How's it Monopoly money? Do Don't you know. think you're ever gonna get a payout from your Rumble equity? They're literally traded on the NASDAQ and they're literally evaluated at a billion dollars. Actually? Go look them up. Go show me. I'm too lazy. I want you to do it, you miss shit real. talker. Go it's ahead, not go real look. then. What do you mean it's not real? It's literally on the NASDAQ. 
Okay. Go ahead, no, let's do it. I didn't know they were publicly traded. That makes me less concerned for you. No, no, no. no. Go ahead. How do I how do I do this? Gaming. <laughs> They're publicly traded. What are you doing? <laughs> That's because I joined. Just give it a couple months, all right? <laughs> what are you laughing? You think it's fucking funny? No. You're just trying to be like. <laughs> it's funny because you're upset. Yeah, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> the mis effect. <laughs> uh, listen. But it, 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 so, do I have equity in Rumble? I thought that no. they were a private company that was not publicly traded. Okay, listen. If it's that easy for you to, you know, sell your stocks, mm -hmm. then okay, maybe it's not a bad idea. Thank you, Pokey. <laughs> I thought it was like, you know, when esports orgs were like, I'll give you 0.1%. No, no, <laughs> listen. And then they make no money, you make no money, and they never sell, and it's no. it's just a paper deal. Are you it's talking about OTK deal, at this bro? point? <laughs> no, that's no. not it. I already learned that lesson. Like, th this is, I, it's real money, it's not Monopoly. You know, I will, as the, I, I'm, I, Pokey, I'm telling you, man, I, I don't really care about money. I care about growing a platform for the good. That's why I hate Twitch. It's not a good platform. This website is dead, and it needs to die. And there needs to be a new website that rises. And you think it's going to be Rumble? I mean, you can't say it's not going to be because, you know. No, I don't think it's going to be Rumble. <laughs> You're funny, I know man. it's going to be Rumble. Uh-huh. <laughs> You scared him there. You scared him there for yeah. a sec. You really did. <laughs> Their stocks dropped like 10%. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> No, listen, I, I'm i all for the competition. Good job, good job, good job. See, the thing is with me is I'm all for the competition of Twitch mm -hmm. because I there should be... Twitch should not have a monopoly like they do. They're too big. I don't know if I'd say they're too big. I do think they have a monopoly to some extent, yeah. Yeah, and it's fucking annoying. They don't budge on anything. Frankly, I don't see anyone pushing the needle all too much. Oh, like, no, I, 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 see, I, agree. I see huge creators who do cool things, who go on whatever platform, right, 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 right. I don't see a platform that is new and emerging, and I'm excited to see you can't, the platform, you can't, the UI, yes. the community, the anything. You it, get what I mean? Think about how long it's just it took individuals Twitch. that are cool. Yes. You can't take a few trees from the Amazon rainforest and make the Amazon rainforest. That's not how it works. Or make a rainforest in general. Right. It's, it's impossible. Like, you can't do it. Um, you, 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 to make what Twitch is, is something that isn't about... It, it's something that has you, been curated for over a decade. Do you really think it's that... Do you think it's more feasible to create a whole new platform that will hopefully embody all of these things that we wanted to versus trying to steer Twitch in a better direction? Oh, yeah, you can. I, I don't I personally don't think Twitch is in a bad direction at all. Really? No. What, what's so bad about Twitch? I thought that's what you've been saying this whole time. No, I'm trolling. I, I don't even think, like, what really is that bad about Twitch? Why is every platform copying Twitch? It's because Twitch is good. Mm -hmm. Twitch is good. I mean, like, I, I think that Twitch, there can be some things that are, you know, obviously always fixed, but it's not like a bad platform. The only thing I think that truly is dog shit on Twitch that I fucking hate, mm -hmm. have you ever watched Twitch without an ad blocker? Or without, like, yeah. genuinely, it's, I, I, I think it's just so unwatchable. Like, it's, it's not... It's not even remotely enjoyable. Ads, and I agree. I think 50-50 is a bit much. But to be fair, okay, you know what I think is funny? You know YouTube ads, or like the AdSense that you get on YouTube? Mm -hmm. YouTube makes just as much, I think, from your videos as you do. You only see half of the amount. Right. So people just don't know that. So they think like, wow, I'm making so much off of ads. And well, people also just don't care because they know that they're not going to impact YouTube. YouTube's too big. I also agree. Turbo is amazing. But it also adds to this idea that like you're only going to enjoy Twitch if you're a heavy, heavy user. If you just come on the platform once or twice, oh my God, the ads are going to kick your ass. 
You know what they should do? Never mind. I don't know if that would work. I always wish they relied more on like side advertisements or advertisements that you can watch at the same time as the stream. Even if I know those don't pay well, at least maybe use those more when you're just when a viewer is new and like just getting used to the platform. Mm. Otherwise, it's like, bro. You're I don't know why they just started gambling ads. <laughs> I have to go piss, and you're pissing me off. Ugh. Yo, thank you for this, uh, the raid. I appreciate it. Um, no, it's a good idea. Listen, I don't think Twitch is even that bad. And there's no way... Thank you for the huge raid. That was sick. I, I think that Twitch is in a fine state... And I think people complain too much. My opinion. I just think people complain too much. Like, who cares? Like, it's like, can Twitch fix things? Yeah. Are they fine? Dude, who cares? I, I honestly don't give a shit. I'm also personally too tired of complaining about stuff. But I, I'm not even doing the complaining. I'm just so tired of hearing it. I'm like, holy fuck. I can't stand how much everyone complains. I'm like, tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Like, I can't care. It's like, oh, it's the same conversations over and over and over and over and over and over. Who gives a shit? Um, no shit, you made 10 mil? I did not make 10 mil, dumbass. I give a lot of my money to charity. Did you get that clip? Did you? I did give a lot of money to charity. You know? I'm a very charitable guy. I, I, you know, I, um, I gave 300k to the federal government. You know, and they didn't even ask for it. So I'm, I'm a, I'm a pretty charitable guy. You know, name five charities. Uh, uh who? Alveus. It's kind of a charity. Um, American Heart. Association. One tap subathon he did. Mm, C Dog when he went on the bicycle, and then C Dog when he did the charity auction. There, that's five. I did it. What did someone say? Do you know that Emru gave 300k to a, a bad guy that scammed his accountants? So noble of her. I know, isn't it pretty cool? I also didn't scam my accountants, you idiot. I fired them. I fired them. How do I start investing in stocks? Dude, it's really fucking easy, all right? You literally can download this thing called Robinhood and then you, you invest. It's so easy nowadays. But people apparently have a problem with Robin Hood. I don't really know what the problem is. I use it anyway. Uh, but Robin Hood is like the easy way to invest. Uh, maybe there's another one now. But I used, I used to use Robin Hood. I don't use Robin Hood for all my money, obviously. Like that was when I was, I didn't have a lot of money. And yeah. Wait, do you invest a lot? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Really? What do you invest in? I have a wealth manager. Oh, that's fucking base. That's awesome. And then I pick and choose companies to invest in as well. You know what we should do? Let's both buy stocks. Like privately. Let's let's use ten grand each, uh -huh. and we, are we pick stocks with our chats and see who makes more money? That sounds like a good fucking time. Are you being serious? Yeah. You'd actually do it. Of course. I'm down. Oh, that's easy. And then we can see who's technically it'll be like whose stream is smarter. Yeah. Dude. I already know what I'm gonna invest in. Hmm. I'm already gonna win. I'm gonna invest in Rumble. <laughs> no, so I'm I... gonna invest in Amazon and bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. In the end it's just what? Amazon versus Rumble. That is funny as fuck. Yeah, I, we uh, listen. <laughs> I'm telling you, chat, like, oh, FaZe Clan. What? Who? 
Faze. Sorry, I, that's mean. That was mean. <laughs> they were there for you. No, the fuck they weren't. What? Were they? I don't know. They weren't they cool like ten years ago? Huh. Huh. Mm. Hmm. Did you ever hang out with them? There were some face people that I liked mm -hmm. in the past, yes. But even them, I felt they were not being properly taken care of by this organization that they had so much loyalty to. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, so do you want to join OTK? Mm -hmm. Give me an offer. All my equity. How much is that? Mm, Listen. It's technically priceless. <laughs> I'll trade you my OTV equity for your OTK equity. No, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I don't want OTV equity. Who am I going to sell that to? A fucking fourth grader? Like, I'm not going to be able to do that? Like... Who's gonna buy OTK equity? <laughs> like, we're like the same thing, we're one letter apart. Yeah, who's gonna buy OTK equity? Uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, well, what if we just go public? You know, we just fucking put us on the stock market. Don't do that. What? You saw what happened to face, bro, don't do that. How funny would that be though? If like, Asmongold misses a day of streaming and we drop like 8%. That's funny. Right? Isn't that actually yeah. funny? Like That's chat just pressure, starts. Pressure, you know. Yeah, it's content. Mm -hmm. I have content from nine in the morning till four o'clock. I have. I can just stare at my stock, and the chat will go nuts. Well, like, imagine we put out like a bad video, but that also makes people who invest in us want to purchase and, and work with us more. But do you think that really would happen to Phase? You know, I don't think so. No, what happened to Phase? What I didn't. Phase had like seventeen different things that happened to them. Yeah, but do like, did that tank the stock every time? What? They're, they're crypto scams? Anything. I don't... It, truthfully, people don't give a fuck about that stuff. They, what do they care about? The financials. What do you mean? They don't care about the nuances of crap. Like, people on the stock market, they care about the financials. Are the financials good? Mm. And their financials are horrible, so no one cares. But OTK is yeah. fantastic. We're super profitable. Really? Yeah, because we don't pay our owners. So it's great, like we just don't like, it's been, you know, years, we just don't make money, but you know, it's really profitable. Relatable. Yeah, it's great. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just basically sit there and we just make stuff and you know, you should join us. You should move to Austin. Not you can be on Extra Emily streams and you can do content with Extra Emily. That's fine, I'm not moving to Austin. Well, I'm not done. You can um, you could do cosplays with Emmy. You can go on Nick's stream in the morning. Listen, I told you, just come to LA. We'll hang. Uh, LA's so stressful. I thought you were saying you really wanted to move here. Like, no, I do. I do. Go. I do. It's still just stressful. Why? There's like okay, like I'm out like I'm outside like anywhere, and you're just seeing homeless people like throwing bottles and like yelling at themselves. It has worsened a lot as of late, and it's so sad. Like, don't you think it's a reflection of a society, how they treat those who need help the most? And we treat them like shit in L.A. I mean... For sure worse. I, I was saying it was content, honestly. I was, that was a plus for me moving here. I could film them. It makes me very sad. Well, I'll give them like five bucks. Okay, I have an idea for a stream for us. Mm -hmm. We go to Skid Row. Oh, go on? That's it. Sounds like a PR disaster. Chat, what do you think? <laughs> Last stream stops. Or I have an idea. What if we make like, um, what if we do a stream where we basically make like a bakery and we sell cupcakes? I'm down. So, like, but the thing is, like, I feel like with you, mm -hmm. you've reached a point in your career where you're kind of like, you just want to chill. 
I want to chill till I don't want to chill. I respect that. I get you. You do. I understand what you like. I get you. Funny. Do you think I get you more than the average bear? Like, that, like, more people... Do you think I get you more than most people? Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Cool. You can't hear Pokey? Hello? Yeah, I think you get me pretty well. Cool. But I don't think you always know everything about me. Like, everything I'm thinking, everything I'm up to. But if you did, then you'd get me even better. Mm. Well, that's because you live in fucking L.A. And you're always busy. But you're moving here. <sighs> yeah, I'll move here. Maybe. Listen, I, I was thinking about it. When you say it. move, you mean for a bit, right? No, no. This is my final destination. No way. I want to have a podcast. With who? I don't know. I'm still looking for a guest or host. You know, my last host ditched me. Who was that? XQC. Yeah, same thing to me. That's a not piece true, of shit. Actually. I mean, anyway. But yeah, no. I, I'm like looking for like... Because here's the thing. When, you, when you're doing like our content, can you do this? Like if I'm 32, 30, let's say 35, does what I do become cringe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like chat we're doing a you laugh you lose today <laughs> this person's coming over it's like dude you have kids like stop this shit it's weird and here's the truth we're hitting a point pokey where our shit i think personally we're just becoming too old for it <laughs> like you have this new generation who could do our stuff speak for yourself man i'm not doing you laugh you lose and <laughs> yeah but you play valorant but i do think to some extent yeah yeah. Like, um, less so that I'm worried, frankly, I don't really worry about like, I'm 27, should I play Valorant? Because, you know, I have friends who are like five years older than me, chilling, doing the same thing, and like, that's fine, right? But what I, for me, it's more so like, I have been gaming throughout so much of my life, and I was forced to game for so much of the pandemic, you know, you couldn't do anything else. True. And now I'm like, wow, there's so much out there. Dude, you should so do, much you for go... me to experience and do in my 20s, you know? Yeah, why don't you just do, like, IRL? 50. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, can I... Okay, here's a memory that is, like, engraved in my brain, okay? Mm -hmm. I went to, um... I went to Japan, and we did some IRL streams. Mm -hmm. And I was there with like a bunch of my friends, like Celine, Ray. I don't remember who else was on the stream in particular and who stayed home, but I remember those two. Um, Jake was there, and this fan comes up to us. He's like, "Oh my God, hi, hi, Pokey, so happy you're here." He was like really, really nice. Um, and he said, "You know, your fans in Japan love you." And I was like, "Oh, that's so sweet. Like, thank you." Mm -hmm. And he said, <laughs> "Jake." Why is everybody angry? Oh, I fucking hate Jake and Bake. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, we could, talk, we could unpack that in a second. No, I've unpacked it for like two years. I hate Jake. Just give me a sec. Okay, yeah. Anyways, so this guy's like, you know your fans in Japan, they love you. Like, can I teach you how to say I love you to them in Japanese? Mm -hmm. I was like, sure. So he teaches me how to say something. I say it, whatever. Chat starts being weird. Jake starts being weird because he's streaming and he has chat. Come to find out, this guy just made me say, like, I'm a whore in Japanese or something. Mm. And I was just, well, obviously there's some very not nice people out there in the world, right? But then it has to be, like, a step further to come to you in person and do that. And he was kind of a good actor. Like, he, I really thought, he seemed like a nice fan. Mm. But it... The worst part about that incident is it made me realize how accessible you are to other people when you're just IRL streaming your life. Right. And streaming, even just like this, adds such a level of accessibility that is sometimes very difficult to manage. Mm -hmm. like anyone can come in and do and say anything you want. But then, you know, when the in-person factor is brought in and the fact, I mean, 
I'm a girl. Right. So th- there's another layer of concern there. So yeah. Well, that's you know that's why a lot of people watch IRLs. It's it's for that factor. It's the oh my god, what if? And then since the you're adrenaline. a girl, it's personified because like oh my god, she's a girl and she's doing IRL streams like it's crazy. Like mm-hmm. I've had I just some... don't. Yeah. It. Um. It just doesn't always feel worth it now. Sometimes it's okay, especially in like safer countries. You're too big. There's no way. You think I gained weight? Yes, I yes. That's what I, I... No, I was here to talk to you about that. No, you're too... You are too popular. The thing is, I'm... I'm not there at your level, one. What? And I think two, you're, on, you're on my level in the Twitch sphere, for sure. Maybe, but the thing is, I'm also a guy, and people don't care. I don't get any weirdos. Except on Twitter. Yeah, but, but in person, like, legit. Okay, I probably met about a thousand people in the past two days at, at Anime Expo. Not one person came up to me and was weird. Not one. The only one guy was this guy who looked like Shroud, who said, where's Maya? Well, luckily, I don't have that many bad fan, like, fan experiences in person. That's because you always have, like, security. Like, when Maybe. you, like, let's say when you go to a coffee shop, like, do they recognize, do people come up to you like, oh my god, it's Pokey. And they're so nice. See, I don't get that. You know what's crazy? As of late, like, I get just as many girl fans as guy fans. Like, it's because you've been hanging out with me a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> they're going up to you to be like, stop hanging out with Miss Kid. Yeah, please. Are you okay? <laughs> you know you know what's crazy? I actually get, I never get recognized. Never? Ever. Nope. Never? Nope. You, I mean, come around LA, you'll get recognized. I, I don't. I think you would. I, I legitimately only get recognized when I'm with S-Fan. Because people see him, they're like, damn, that's a big fucking dude. And they're like, oh, wait, that's s Oh, it's Miss Kiff. That's how it goes. What if... Wait, you come to LA, you start getting recognized. What if you get a hair transplant? Less people recognize you. Awesome. <laughs> I don't want to get recognized in public. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You, also, I, I think it's like... <laughs> what? I shouldn't be laughing. Wait... I just hate to see Pokey with Miz now. It used to be funny, now it's weird. Well, for starters, let's pin this. Right. Okay. Let's and let's then talk about this. Let's say, why do you feel th- feel this way? Let's unpack it. Well, oh my god, I'm not even typing. <laughs> why do you feel this way? Let's unpack it. Let's pop this bad boy out. You know, tell us how you really feel. Damn. All right. Damn, this guy goes crazy. Oh, he said Miz isn't canceled anymore. Well, y- do you want to speak to that? Uh, yeah. I mean, basically, uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to speak to that. Uh, listen, uh, you ever tried killing yourself? No, I'm not. Like, it's, I'm never was, can- there's no such thing as cancellation. There's just not. Also, I mean, uh, chat, I- I'm doing a charity stream tomorrow for, uh, I'm giving away my liver. For a lot of money. It's going to be really exciting stuff. Um, Listen. Yes, there was a tumultuous time. Both in his career, in our friendship, a lot of uncertainty. Friendship? What the hell did I ever do? You want me to pull up that call with Train and X and... Bro, if you think... Asmin. You are so dumb if you ever think that I was a bad friend to you. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to make the cam bigger. So you can look at everybody and everybody can look at you. I'll look right now. <laughs> no. Hey, then. I 100% think that I've always been a decent friend to you. I would say you were a low tier friend. Is that, are you trying to tell me to kill myself? No. Oh. I would never. What the fuck? I thought you were saying low to your god. I'm like, okay, what the hell? What? Yeah. Anyways. Um, you sh- I, from my recollection. Mm, we should not talk about any of this on stream. We should okay. talk about butterflies. What? <sighs> talk about. Anyways, we've, uh, personally, our friendship have mo- has moved past that. He apologized and hosted me a couple times. (laughs) 
I thought it was worse. It was still pretty bad. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, how do you feel about butterflies? Oh, you said you hate Jake. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I fucking hate Jake. He's a piece of shit. But then he hosted me, and I'm fine with him now. Oh, Why do you actually hate him? I, cause he fucking, he just plays games and tries too hard. It's not fun. Jake doesn't play games. Yes, he does. What do you mean? He, he. Like Apex? Basically, there's this AT&T tournament that happens every year. Jake goes way too hard, tries hard, and ruined the entire experience. He made it on fun. He what? He made it on fun. He tries too hard. And he got first place, but it was just like cringe. Like, dude, why you try so hard? Don't you think a lot of people are like that? I don't try hard. Yeah, but don't you think a lot of people are, a lot of streamers are like that? Try that try hard? Yeah. I think a lot of streamers try hard, yeah, but... Are you going to hate every single one of them? It's like half of them. I don't, I, I, I'm not going to hate streamers that try hard, but I'm going to hate people that do what Jake did, which is just like way too try hard. <laughs> Stop saying try hard. You're just farming, man. Yeah, I am. What do you want to do in 10 years? Um, I feel like in 10 years, I'll you probably should write a have book. a kid. <laughs> Wait, you want kids? Phase? Yeah, I want kids. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Shut up. Damn. It'll be my kids. family vlogger era. Oh my god, that's gonna go so hard. Stop. I could never imagine. I, I can't have kids. Like physically? Mentally. <laughs> It um, would be like a kid having a kid. Yeah, my kids, kids, kids. Imagine my children. How fucked up in the head they're going to be. Also, they're like, the, the swimmer thing, like, they're done. They're done, and not just on Twitch. <laughs> my, kids, I, my kids will just mentally be horrible, horrible kids. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for the world. I just thank can't. you. Yeah. I actually want to thank you for that. I, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. Your lineage should end here. <laughs> Oh, totally. They totally should. That's what my doctors say when I go. They're like, yeah, like, let's, let's call it quits, huh? Let's, let's end this book for the sake of humanity. So eat it up, LSF. I'm not having a child. I can't do it. Also, I, I never got to... Here's the thing with mm. kids. Mm. You really want children? It's a, it's a pretty serious thing. You can't, like, travel. That's not true. No, it is true. Because you got to play games with a kid. <laughs> Listen, we are in the most privileged positions to have kids. I only made my first Far... million when I was 20. What do you mean? I'm not privileged. You made a million at 20? Is that impressive? Yeah. Thanks. Are you a fucking podcast, bro? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> what in the what hell? What in the hell? You're echoing. Anyways. All right. Was that a Bruce quote? What? <laughs> Anyways. Listen, I 100% will not have children, but will I have more cats? Absolutely. Sure, sure. Um, for me... Thank you. <laughs> for me, I feel like... I always thought I would have kids. Sometimes I'm like, hmm... Maybe I shouldn't, and I should just enjoy my life. Yeah, but can't you get, like, eggs fertilized or something? I'm not done talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yes, there is a biological clock for women, unfortunately. Luckily, that clock is getting better year by year, and I likely will have to freeze my eggs just so I have that as a backup plan. And you know when you freeze your eggs, you have to take hormones, like, every day. Really? Yeah. I'm thinking of um, documenting it. But. Dude, that is, I could do it too. Excuse me? I'll react to your documentary. Oh, got it. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to freeze my eggs. And yeah, it's not 100% guaranteed either, but it, it gives you an option that you would maybe not have before, right? Anyways, I don't want to have kids for like at least another five years. Oh my God. What? That's awesome. Why? I, I don't know. That's cool. Dude, we're, think about how crazy this is. In like four or five years, all our friends are going to start having kids. I don't think so. I think a lot of streamer friends are just never going to have kids. Nah, that's bullshit. I, 
Bro. Here's the thing. Everyone's going to start having kids. I'm not. I get to stream more because I have more free time while you're all with your kids. I thought you said you wanted to quit in two years. What happened to that? Huh? You know I said I wanted to quit? Here. Bogey. You move the goalposts every single time because that's how you get through life. It's always... Why when are I'm, you using an XQC term, bro? He doesn't know you, little bro. Go, moving the goalpost is an <laughs> XQC term? Yeah. I thought moving to another platform is an XQC term. I, what are you on about? I, moving the goalpost is not an XQC term. Yeah, what, what do you mean moving the goalpost? You told me two years. I did tell you two years. But so what, what I've also mean? done my whole life is I was like, okay... I used to have five urinals in a bathroom when I was a kid, and I would pee in the specific urinal, so that way I know which day of the week it is, and then that way I can be like, oh, it's so close to Friday, because I always live trying to wait for the next thing in the future, mm -hmm. which is really a bad way to live. Yeah, you're not very present. Or Never you? present, ever. So I'm always like thinking in the future of what's next. What? <laughs> no, I swear, I used to, do you want me to call the urinal? Like, I swear, I used to be in, so anyway, what were we talking about? How you said two years, and then I said two years, and then oh, you yeah. said I was goalposting, when in reality, you're gaslighting. Yeah, well, I, I think I'm going to start a comedy tour. You seem excited. You bring your kids. <laughs> I'm sure as hell not doing that, man. You don't think I could do comedy? Alone? No, with, with Russell. Maybe. Come on, you don't think I could do a comedy show? I think you could do a comedy show and sell lots of tickets. Right. I'm going to call it The Goalpost. Mm -hmm. Exciting, right? Mm -mm. That's a shitty name. Okay. We can work on it. But I, 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 listen, if I say to myself, oh, I have 10 more years of streaming, mm -hmm. it's like, fuck, that's a lot to think about. But so I say two years. And in two years from now, I still You're stream. Of course, out. I. Ow, it's your foot. Of course, I'll be streaming in two years. What kind of question is that? And that's it. But when it comes to kids, uh uh, no way. No way? Nope. No way at all? I will never have kids. Never? Nope. Frankly, you know, I'm not like, I need kids now, but I do feel like someday. I don't know how to say this. Hopefully, you know, I'll be in love and I'll, I'll be married and I'll have feel really fulfilled in my career. And I'm going to be like, you know what? I want to make a little baby thing. Pokey, it's been seven years since your career. If you don't feel fulfilled now, you're, it's probably not. Right? That's yeah. the other side of me where I'm like, maybe I'm always just going to want to do shit for myself. But I also think I'm in such a privileged position where I can actually balance. Like, I have the financial means you know, to try to balance. You can so, do what. if anyone's going to have a fucking baby, shouldn't it be me? Yes, that's what we're all getting to. No. What? I don't, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, you should, if you want a child, they should have a child, right? Like, uh, but I just think, listen, I also believe that most streamers shouldn't have kids. Am I in that bucket? No, you're mature enough. Thanks. Like, let's, let's, let's think of a streamer that genuinely should not have a child. Besides me. Who's someone that's just not mature if yet? If I say anything, I will be in a lot of trouble, so I'm not going to say anything. E-Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Jones. Like, is Mitch Jones in a suitable position at his age to be like, yep, I, <clears throat> I want a kid. Like, the kid's going to come out of the womb and he's going to be vaping in front of his face. Like, it's just, there's just streamers. Streamers are not mentally there yet to have children. Like, all of them. They're... That's what I'm saying. I don't think they're all going to have kids. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Sometimes. Okay, and here's where it's kind of fucking... <clears throat> Okay. Guys can just have a mature partner and they can have a kid and they can do most of the oh, raising here of we the go. kid, but they still uh, have a kid. Uh, that's not true. Ooh, maybe I should pop the baby out or get a surrogate and then still just get a really, really Do you not think men have to I deal can, with a lot of crap? Still, like, I'm gonna be so first, you have to ignore the woman for nine months, which is a pain in the ass. And then you have to get her flowers once in a while and you have to sleep on the couch. Like, it's a lot for men. Can't even take one pill a day, bro. What? I do take it. I take vitamin D every day. <laughs> Listen, I. So if you never want kids, why aren't you snipped already? Huh? Snip? Oh, snip that shit? Yeah. No, that's scary. You're the one who brought it up. I know, but I hate surgeries. Why would I want to just go like snip, snip, snip? Like, fuck that. Do you think a lot of guys feel the same way? Yes. You? 
If it was like, I'm gonna pinch I'm your not, foot. Not, don't touch on my feet. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done with my line of questioning. Okay, so you're sure a lot of guys feel the same way, and you know there are some in chat right now. Absolutely, that, right? It is a scary procedure. Scary procedure. It's scary to take hormonal pills every day. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Why do we have this expectation of our female partners? Because that's just what it's fucking should be. <laughs> Say you're joking we right don't, now. We I don't. I know you yes, joke a lot. Take we, that shit back right now because you're going to we'll, take it seriously. We don't expect it from women, okay? Mm. I don't expect it. Do you? I'm not saying you. I know you're like, hey, you don't gotta, I don't gotta, even though I don't really believe you. But don't you think there are <laughs> likely... Say, I couldn't hear you. Don't you think there are a lot of guys who probably do have that expectation and yet, you know, they're like, oh, I'm too scared to do any of that, though. Yeah, maybe, and that's not good. But I think that a lot of guys just are like, uh -huh. listen, I mean, like, yeah, like, you're kind of right. Chat, help me here. I don't know what the, what am I supposed to say? Um, you're, you're trying to conversate with me and appease them at the same time, which is pretty funny. No, I, listen, I, uh, you're great. Chat, what do I say now? Wait, someone said you're... Mm, they said you're crazy if you don't think dudes would take a male pill. I really thought they would too. That's why I'm surprised to hear from Miz that they wouldn't. Okay, who in chat would take male birth control? Hormonal. And who wouldn't? I would Can never. Can someone just do a poll actually? I, I would never. I'm not getting laid. What's the fucking point of me taking that crap? To get laid? But I'm like, I'm like, t it's like you're going so many steps ahead. Why would I take the pill if I'm not getting laid? No, but that's, you know, you're in a relationship and you want to, you know. Have a kid? Then I would just not take the pill. No, and you want to get laid. Oh. Then you should do VR chat. You gotta see Soda set up, it's fucking sick. That's how you really should have sex with your partner. You have a dildo on the side of the desk, it's, what he does is crazy. It's innovative. Oh, what? He has a huge dildo on the right side of his desk. For what? Innovation. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Chance is trying to create a new meta, and it's fantastic. But, um, let's see. See? There you have it, folks. <clears throat> Some people would, but the majority of guys wouldn't. Mm -mm. Now, if we pulled the people that wouldn't, I'm sure a lot of them would have that expectation of their partner, though. Which, you know what? You can strike a deal with them, but then, you know, life and relationships are all about compromise. What are you willing to do more for them if they're willing to do this for you? I think that's important to consider. Yeah, you fuck up your entire body and I'll buy you food. <laughs> I mean... I'll buy you some sushi. I mean, it's different for every person. Hopefully it doesn't fuck up your whole body. It's like I said, men have to work while women also work. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, you know, like, I, uh, I really am just being a piece of shit right now, aren't I? No, you're just memeing. I yeah. would tell you if you're being a piece of shit. Don't you get exhausted trying to talk about, like, serious topics? N no, because... As a 20-something-year-old, these are things that I just generally think and talk about with my friends. I know that might be hard to believe. No, I believe you. We're not discussing smoke placements in Valorant. <laughs> you know, we're talking about people, we're talking about life, talking about shit that happens. I think that's very normal. No, that is normal. I See, for me personally, maybe I'm just too dumb, but like, I can't care about like most subjects. Because like, what is my opinion going to change? Nothing. Like, no one cares about my opinion. No, that's really concerning. I feel like you've like cut off... No, I didn't. The empathy nerve. Empathy? Yeah. Wait, me saying that my opinion doesn't matter? No, the thing before that. <laughs> that I'm dumb? Goldfish fucking memory had us. No, you're like, no one's gonna care, my opinion doesn't matter, and I don't care about anything enough to even think about it. Crazy. What? Like, am I supposed to be like, yeah, I think this is, is bad when, like, I just, just, what does my opinion matter? It doesn't. So I'd rather just be, act dumb. 
So many people are here to watch you and to listen to you. Mm -hmm. That's too powerful. I don't like that. <laughs> That's the reality of the case. Your opinion matters a lot because what you say and do can change people's minds positively or negatively. My goal in, in Pokey, so my goal is to make people mind. dumber. Why would that be your goal? Ignorance is bliss. Being as dumb as possible is the most fun way of life. Because when you think too much, it's stressful. It requires work, Adderall. I feel like you're looking at it in such a binary way. You can care about things without obsessing over every little thing. And you can <clears throat> kind of not care about stuff without being completely ignorant to anyone else's issues. I don't think that's a fun way to live because when you don't care about anyone else's issues, frankly, it means you're not connected to anyone. If my best friend is having family problems, I give a fuck. Because I care for them. Oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll care about that them. stuff. If I have someone that's like, hey, like, I'm really sad. I'm not like, oh, dude, let me just troll and fuck with you nonstop. But if it's like, Miz, what do you think of this, you know, new parliament act of 1738? I'm like, I genuinely just don't care. Because my opinion doesn't matter. But if it's like a friend that's like, hey, I need someone to talk to. I'm like, oh, I'm always there for you. That's good. Like, I just, I pick and choose my decisions on what... Really, anyone feel, cares about. You feel opposed to, like, diving deep into certain... Subjects? Yeah. Yeah. Because well, I don't know anything. And I'm not going to go and on, on be like, yeah, like, I know about politics. I'm genuinely stupid. But talking is how you form an opinion and become more educated. Maybe. I, I may, Look, that works for most people, but I'm just too stupid. I'll, I'll plead the fifth. But was it the fifth? I don't I even know. I can't count that. I think you're too stupid. It's just a cop out. I know it's great. Maybe I should start doing that. Yeah, you say yeah, I'm really fucking stupid. This feels wrong. I, listen, I think truthfully, Pokey, I was put on this earth for one reason: to be as dumb as possible. And I'm doing a really good job. You know what? I I feel like. You get me, and I kind of get you. Mm -hmm. And what you're really saying is, I was put on Earth to make other people laugh and entertain, and that has nothing to do with discussing <laughs> certain topics. Yup, yup. So I'm going to do what I'm good at and what I feel, you know, I was created for. Yup. And that's totally fine and fair. Because it's just like, like talking about every subject and being so serious, like, it's so stressful. I just, I can't do it. I'd rather just be an idiot. <laughs> and just be such a dumbass and chats like yup and they're get stupid and then they're that's like i i block out a few hours of their day of just being a dumbass because that's my job my job isn't supposed to be like chat think this way do that it's like chat you're dumb and they're like yup it's such a more fun way of life just being really stupid that's that's good you know you found what works for you but see the thing is you actually I just you have like good to opinions. Talk. Oh, you're and you're a good you. person. No, nah. I frankly I felt kind of judged for even caring about these topics. That's how your rhetoric came off. No, no, no. You should care. If you I care just, about subjects and you're also someone that can, I'm too stupid I like for this. Thinking and talking about stuff. Yeah, and that's normal. Like you're a good person, and you also have good you have good opinions, but you're also that a girl. Mean you're so that's a bad person. What? To be a girl? No, it kind of does. It's just, it's hard. Is it harder for you because people don't want to listen to you? Absolutely. Oh, huh? I don't think that's true. Bro, I don't have fucking however many million followers because nobody wants to listen to me. I do think sometimes in this industry, people care more about how I say something than what I'm saying. But, you know, there's, there's things that you learn when you step foot into the ring of expressing oneself on the internet, right? Right. And you, you have to know? be willing to fight that fight. Yeah. And see, for me, am I, will, am I willing to dabble in the worlds of politics? Finally, or... you're not. No. And I think it's beautiful that we can be so different in certain ways and come together and kind of be dumbasses and geniuses at the same time together. Wait, which one's the genius? Oh, we're both. Huh? Yeah, I feel like you're like the dumbest shit. I feel like you're like an AP Ain't student and I'm a sometimes. suspended kid. That's all I feel. Yeah, but like, you know. And you like feel bad for me, so you're sitting with me because I'm eating lunch alone in the library. No, no, no. You can 
cheat off of my test answers. Yo. But after school, I need you to defend Give you me good from drugs. the bullies. Oh, yeah, no, I'm down for that too. <laughs> you know, it's like, you, you got your shit, I got my shit. That's yeah, why. so how do you want me to defend you from the bullies? I don't know what you really want me to do here. Oh, no, I was just speaking. I, I was trying to allude to, like, street smarts. Like, no, I'm very street smart. But that too, you know, like you could show me the way home because I my sense of direction is non-existent. Yeah, yeah. so I, I always go right. Mm. Do you want to go on Rumble? <laughs> okay, tell me the truth. Is Rumble kind of... Sick? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. What, what do you mean... You know what I mean. Is it based in America? Yes. The NASDAQ is currently, it's, it's which, straight. Which part of America is it based in? Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Poke, you're just jealous you're not getting any sick-ass deals, all right? Like, you're just jealous. I'm just curious, man. All right? Like, we fucking popping bottles and we enjoying life. No, what is it actually like? It's great. Ask chat, chat. How are my Rumble streams? But listen, I'm not even gonna say no, anything. Like who's there? Literally, my chat. What's the What's the community like? I don't listen, even listen. No matter where you stream, <laughs> no matter where you stream, it's gonna be chill because you're chill. Okay, that Word. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> the two K of us. <laughs> no, no, but, 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 but like straight up, I literally don't ban people over there because the, the chat's so normal. That's fine. Oh, does Sneeko stream on Rumble? Yes. Are you guys gonna collab? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? He doesn't play WoW. Mm. Yeah, no, I would never do that. Um, that makes sense. He tuned into my, my stream when my character was like level 16, but other than that, no, he is not a... I'm not asking really about the app. I'm curious about the community. Oh. It's a bunch of like 45-year-old white men. Actually? I don't know. And what I'm trying to do, Pokey, is... Give an opinion, bro. Oh, you're trying to not. Got what? it. No, no, no. Oh, oh, what? 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 <laughs> I'm trying, what I'm trying to do, Pokey, unlike you, on this platform of fucking dog shit, I'm trying to build a community and change They're the world. They're all dog shit, huh? Why don't we make our own platform? Here's the thing. I got something to share with you. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious to have your opinion, but you got to keep it a big secret. Oh, yeah. Huge. Not right now, like later. Do you hate when people say you're narcissistic? Yeah, I just saw that message, too. Um, I think most content creators have narcissistic tendencies of some sort mm. sometimes i wish i was genuinely a narcissist though because if you are like you don't give a fuck about anyone or anything or anything anyone says fuck the world i wish i was like that loki i think narcissists do care what other people think about them mm, only in a calculated way not in like an empathetic way no yeah you gotta throw that shit out the door okay so are you a narcissist I'll, i have a secret to tell you later <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't class myself as a narcissist. It doesn't bother me where I'm like, Err. um, it's more so just like, you're kind of an idiot for throwing that term around. Personally speaking, I personally think you have too much emotion. And it, it, yeah, I, I've always thought the same thing my whole life, but at the end of the day, it's just who I am. I know, and then that's hard to give opinions, and then you have so much emotion. Yeah, but also sometimes you have to find the right uh, platform, the right medium. The right way to do something that you want to do. This is sometimes not the right industry. Yes. Do you think you have too little emotion? When's the last time you cried? Mm. Some guy on Face Clan tweeted at me and I cried. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking good. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my god. No, I cried. I, I, I cry all the time. I'm actually a very emotional guy. When's the last time? Give me an example. Dr. K, I cried. When was that? Uh, like three weeks ago. Bro, Dr. K could make me cry in like two minutes. Yeah, he, uh, I cried there. I cried. I mean, am I as emotional as I used to be five years ago? No. And truthfully, I wish I was more emotional because mm -hmm. it actually makes you way funnier to be more emotional. You think? Oh, yeah. When you, you mean more. If you're stiff, that's not funny. Aggressive? Yes. Ah. Uh. If that's you're stiff, true. that's not funny. When you're when you're like robotic. Yo, you kind of look like a Chad right now. No, look yes. the other way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Doesn't he kind of look like a Chad? Yeah, yeah. Like this it made me tear up. Someone. <laughs> that's what I tweeted. Someone at. Taking back what they. Oh, I actually saw that. Shut up. Did you actually tear up? 
Yeah, because you know when you get hate nonstop and people tell you to kill yourself. That it's was nice me when when Myth tweeted. I was like, wow, bless your fucking soul, man. Yeah, I was gonna tweet and defend you. Yeah, but I have um, a bridge to sell you. But my my app hit five minutes, so I couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what's funny? I had people hitting me up, streamers that have done gambling streams mm -hmm. and even they were like why does everybody care mm -hmm. you're just giving your opinion whatever and i was like wow um now i understand why people don't i understand why those streamers don't say anything you know they're like i don't give a fuck i'm surprised anyone else gives a fuck but i'm not gonna say anything because i don't want none of that why are people talking about nikki who's nikki i don't know yeah, I, um, he, here's how I truly feel about that, uh, whatever you just said. Um, Don't worry about it. Anyways, dude, your chat is, you is seen, toxic like, to you sometimes. What? People are, like, victim Andy to you. That's surely not my chat. You think my chat hates you? My chat loves you. I think a lot of your chat loves me, yeah. But I think, I think there's a group of your chat. No. That loves to hate me. I, I literally never And they see probably you. hate you too. There's nobody that hates me in this world. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's someone that not doesn't hate me in this world. <laughs> true and yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah, but you know what? Your haters watch you more than anyone else. It's true and it's crazy. I have almost a million channel points in your channel right now. I wish I could talk to a hater one time. Not mine, but someone who, like, obsessively hates someone else, right? You can do that easily. And I would just so, be so curious to ask them, like, do you realize, one, they don't, they don't know you, little bro. And Pokey. two, you are helping them so much in life. Can I tell you something? Huh? I was a hater. <gasps> like, actual. <gasps> I hated streamers. Who? I used to hate watch Mitch Jones, like, crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Like a lot. I hated him. That's you want to know why? Why? Because I was jealous. It was just that simple. Why do all these people hate? For most of it, it's they're jealous. I, I was legitimately I so jealous because I said, "Oh my god, I'm in college. I bust my ass all day, and I'm gonna make 50k a year." When this fucking loser sits there and just entertains twice a week, gets a ton of love, it makes back then like a thousand or two thousand dollars a week. I was jealous. It all came down to jealousy. I totally understand. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I could even help haters pass that. You can't. You can't? No. But they need love too. And one day they'll but stop hating. But sometimes it also pisses me off. Like, you're being so dumb. They, they, yeah, they're being dumb, but a lot of them are fucking kids and they'll grow out of it. True. When they have something that actually makes them enjoy life, they'll stop true. being that way. And yeah, that's pretty true. The my, thing is, my oh, unbanned forums would agree with you. Yeah, it just takes time and it takes something for them to actually be proud of. But in that interim, they're haters. And you know what, Pokey, truthfully? I can't believe you just used the term interim. Huh? I can't believe you just used the term interim. I did? Did it sound yeah. cool? Do you try to act stupider than you actually are? Yes, because I don't. Then I don't get as much hate. Like, oh, he's just a stupid guy. Mm. You gotta act really stupid. Do you think I should try that? Yes. It's really hard. It's. I, I think you. It is really hard. I have. To, you have to be very self-deprecating to be really act really stupid. Mm. You're not as self-deprecating as I am. I'm like. I like all I do is self-deprecate. Yeah, you just talk about. But I can go pretty you fucking have far. have a low sperm count and you're balding. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, to be this self-deprecating, it's good. But I also have a lot of things to be self-deprecating about. What do you have to be self-deprecating? You're Pokimane. That's pretty, that's a good start. Yeah, that is pretty self-deprecating. <laughs> me, I'm Mizkif. Literally everything about me is self-deprecating at this point. I can go all the way to the bottom. I already have. Like it's like I did Twitch Plays Pokemon, you know? Didn't you end that early? Yes. And I said I'm gonna get a fifteen thousand upvoted hate thread about this and seven thousand comments, but I need to end it. 
And I did. And it was so selfish of me. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. But Why did you need to end it? Because I was losing about 5,000 followers a day. And I was- And you said, I gotta put me first! <laughs> yeah, I gotta put my numbers first, and I wanted to die. So, I, I ended it. Thinking that my community, at the time, this is, this is the crazy part. My community, mm -hmm. when I ended it, they're like, okay. They're like, yeah, we get it, it's not doing too well. They didn't care. But then, it, on LSF, it was like, <sighs> Like, this tsunami of just like, fuck Ms. Kiff, this guy should die, like, all this stuff. And I'm like- Whoa. Hey, we all go through that. Do time we? in our lives, right? Someone, you know, someone that has gone through that stuff is you. Yeah, I really There's feel not like a lot I of came streamers. out the other end of LSF, which is crazy. Like, now I actually really like, I really like the comments and people on LSF. That's crazy. You, wanna, you don't know why you like uh, LSF? If you asked me five years ago if this would ever happen, I'd be like, no. You want to know why? Because they grew up. And it's the same yeah. people. The, I can, you can really tell. Yes, they grew up. They grew the fuck up. It's beautiful. Yep. I like them. I like them more than I like Twitter sometimes. Yeah, because oh. they grew up. And it's the same people on LSF that was there five years ago. Great. So they, they also, they just grew up. It's interesting to see that as well because they have all the lore. Like, you know how some things you could scrape it entirely off of the internet? Someone, no. <laughs> someone on Reddit is going to remember. Hmm? Oh, yeah, they know everything. Lord knows. How, they know everything. They do. Actually, there was a time during the ninja thing where his wife was gaslighting me into thinking something didn't happen. Yeah, that was awesome. And there were Reddit comments describing it happening. And I was like, <laughs> the validation I needed. <laughs> but then I found the VOD and the actual proof. But regardless, this is just to say, you know, it, I can't believe something... You know, that was difficult to look at in the past. It actually helps me a lot sometimes nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's not how it works for me it at all. It just, really, it just, to me, says the internet is almost, like, not real. Like, it's so real, but it's so not real. Just find who you want to talk to and avoid the people who fucking suck. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Me. Aww. Him and my cat are getting along great. Me. Hey, you have a flight at six, right? Dude, you can't say that shit out loud. Yeah, that's why I said six instead of seven. Shit. Yeah, probably around there. Well, I have PT in like 10 to 15. So What's that? Physical therapy. What the fuck? What? Did you hurt yourself? I'm just kind of fucked up. That's what years of streaming will do to you. If you go to a PT, you're probably fucked up too. Like, what does, like, the PT do? Like, like that? Yeah, but more intensely. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I do to, like, fix my... Whenever I'm done streaming, what I do? Mm. Uh, I, um... Uh, does it bother you when people say, this motherfucker is so dumb? No, they're right. <laughs> who who genuinely thinks I'm a smart person? I mean, like, I, I like... Like I said, it, I being dumb is fun. Smart. Yeah, I, but being dumb is also, they're probably talking about you. No, I think they said this guy. Well, oh. no, yeah, I'm dumb, and it's okay. Like, I, I think it's more enjoyable, like I said, to enjoy life to be stupid. I, I, my, one of my biggest philosophies is ignorance is bliss. Mm. I, I truly do believe that. And I think people that try to, like, everyone I know that tries to give takes and be political and all that crap, they seem so soulless. What? I seem soulless. No, I just don't want you to go down that route. Oh, I won't. You promise? Yeah. You're not going to go down the political route? Ew, no. Okay, that's the route that's bad. I... The route it's what? Of being a political person. That's the route it's been? That's like the worst route. Oh, I mean, I think that works for some people. For me, it's like... I think standing up for certain things and being against certain things sounds political to a lot of people. Right? I will probably continue to do that. I'm never going to be political in the way that, like, I follow every single, you know, political issue and try to give my opinion on that. Oh my god, that's my interview! Wait, can we watch this? Yeah, switch the scene. But, 
I won't be able to hear it, so. Let's see, where is it? This? Gaming? Mm -hmm. Okay, I gave an interview yesterday for a... You know what? I should listen, because you gave these. Yeah, 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 you do it. No, yeah, this is good. <laughs> what is this, daily motion? I feel like I'm on Twitter. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you gotta let it buffer, bro. Look at the bar. It's not buffered. Was AX fun? <sighs> did you did you do like huge meet and greet kind of thing? I feel like AX must have been flooded. Yes, but I feel like AX is not worth. Why? I I just think that it's like uh, it, it's worth if you want to socialize, but any of like the things around it, even like the big weebs that we were talking to, were like, yeah, this was kind of mediocre. Mm. Like, like there isn't anything actually that cool to see. No, I, I experience. The only cool thing was like Jenna Lemmy Hour was there, which was fucking sick. But like, yeah. that's about it. Dude, this is like the worst buffering Maybe ever. Maybe we can watch it next year. I think there's too much traffic. Yeah, next year for sure. There's seriously too much traffic, man. At 33 seconds. What? There I am. <laughs> there's my interview. This is Wait, that was it? I gave like a. Louder, louder. I live in Austin. I flew here. Yeah, it's my first time being here. I never was here before. But I always wanted to experience it, and I got to, and I'm really excited I got to. Bro, what is my hair? No! You, you sound Ew. you sound like a fifth grader trying to hit a word count on an essay. Yeah, it's bad. I've never been here before, but now I'm here. And I flew in to be here. I didn't know what to do. I've never this before, but now I have. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Wait, no. I thought they were going to do like a full interview. You're such a me. That's it. it? Please tell me that's not all they got. Anime that's, Expo. This is my first year it, this year, actually. That's it. That's it. I talked for like Austin. four minutes. Yeah, it's my first time being here. I never was here before. But I have always <laughs> wanted to experience it, and I got to. I've always wanted to be here. Now I'm here. <laughs> I've never been this here before. This is actually my first That's fucking it? I'm going to be here. What a waste of time. Now I'm here. And I've been enjoying every single moment of it. Why is it this did one? I choose him? Because he's such an amazing character, very positive, and he's the type of person you will- That's the worst, and I literally got- I was so excited to see that. For like, I thought it was gonna be like, on like the news news. That's like 10 seconds. Well, it's, it's alright. Whatever. Um, Good job. Thanks, dog. You did great. But, uh, I should probably go. I have a flight at 6. Pleasure doing business with you. And you have PT. I do. Wait, so when are we... We should end this stream on a positive note. What did we say that was negative? You hate Jake and Vic. Oh, yeah. That's a positive. <laughs> I like him. I think he's right. All right, you say something positive. Um, I hope we can be a great example of... Two people that are different getting along. <laughs> Despite our differences. What differences do we fucking have? <laughs> I'm dumb and you're dumber. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> um, Try hard. <laughs> like, that's all I gotta no, say. We can give him something better. Uh, chat, don't try anything in life. There's no point. You're gonna die anyway. And there's no point, so you might as well try everything. You're gonna die anyway. Wait, shit. That's actually better logic. But that makes good sense. Slay. And that's really it, but yeah, I gotta go. Can you say slay before you go? Slay. Can you not drag it so much? It's slay. More like, it's like a bad bitch kind of slay. Slay. <laughs> not like chat GPT oh, or sl Google Voice. Slay. No. Slay? Not like you're questioning if something is slay. Like, you know it's slay. It's like slay, slay with a period. Slay. Slay. Not like the thing that Santa has with his deer. So like. Slay. <laughs> Not in an affirmative manner. Mm. In a confident manner. Slay. I'm gonna give you one last. I feel like one of those has to be right, but yeah. No, I think you were all bad. Okay. Okay, true. It's like you see your bestie. They're in the club. Mm. Took a couple shots, shaking a little ass. Slay. 
Slay. Oh my god. The club. It's loud. It's, it's a club. So fucking painful. Man. It's fucking loud. It's so bad. It's painful, man. Slay. Stop yelling. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get an Uber. I'm out of here. <laughs> Actually, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking loud. All right, I gotta go. I. Jack. Wait. Um. Who should we raid? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, let's raid someone. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Slay. No one in OTK. That's too biased. And no one in OTV. That's also too biased. That's also biased, right? Uh, we can raid. Idubs is doing a charity. That's nice. We don't give a crap about that stuff. Okay. You raid somebody. Give me some options. Alinity has four girls and one flag in a pool. They don't need our viewers. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're good. They're good. Uh, let's see. Arya, Kai, Nikki. Do you know which Nikki this is? Oh, so it's a girl I raided like a, a week ago where basically she went fucking ballistic that I raided her. Right. Like she was like, oh my God, no way. I literally asked her a chess question and she went crazy. That's really cute. No, it was really sweet to see. And she like, I think she has viewers. Like, let me say, hold on. She's at, she had like 50 viewers. Now she's at, she's at 180. Let's go. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. That's amazing. Um, Kai, Timmy. You rate whoever you want. I don't care. I don't care either. I really, I don't like me. Did you poop today? I uh, did. yes, I did. Nice. Awesome. Rate whoever you want. Who would you normally raid? Probably Janet or Arya. And then raid them. But I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. You can raid this girl, make her day. <laughs> you can see how crazy she'll go when you raid her. Honestly. That might be funny, yeah. She, go, she will go crazy, I'm telling you. Like it, was, it was wild when she... Honestly, that's kind of... Yeah, you'll see. She, she's going to go fucking crazy. <laughs> Ooh, again! Okay, everybody go say hi and be nice. And if you didn't poop yet, try to poop later. Have some fiber. Mm -hmm. At least once a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to do day. PT. Yeah. Later. Keep waving until all the viewers are getting sent. Slay. Bye, hey. chat. A little slay. 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 I hate my job. <laughs>